Oh, how are we all doing tonight? Hi, Skunky. How's it going, buddy? All right. Let me get the game pulled up. Welcome in. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We're playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Because what better to do on Valentine's Day than hunt for swords that may also be hot people? Oh, I know. All the chocolate's gonna go on sale and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. Need to resize it. All right, I've never played this before, so bear with me. There may be a few bumps. I also have a cat in my lap. She is attempting to lay across my arm. Patches would like to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Don't you? Yes. Oh, God, not the camera. All right. Are you going to sit over there instead? Okay. The game involves exposure of unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Play with care and take breaks when needed. Okay. Hi, odd fun guy. All right. Oh, I didn't realize we got to make our character. It says boyfriend dungeon, but I don't see slime, dragons, goblin skeletons, or skeleton. I know, I know, it's very sad. Oh! <laughs> Sleepy, smiling, tough, round. They're kind of like heavy. Do I got yeah they very close to my haircut let's see you can alter your character anytime at the apartment oh that's cool all right Let's get into it. This game sometimes sends you supportive text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? Yeah. You can send... Mom can send me messages. Final boarding call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. This is a really cute cutscene. Oh. Oh, God, I wish I were there. And there. So many places to check out. <gasps> a cat cafe! A fancy dinner. A dance club. I'm sorry, no dance club will ever be quite as cool as the one from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. One second, Jesse. I need to check something. Don't mind me, Jesse. Just just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, awesome, Jesse. Let's get going. It's been a long 10 years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Thanks. Are you hitting on me? Oh god, no. Uh, thanks. Sorry. I just remember you as a little kid. <laughs> Cousin problems. Good lord, we're at Verona Beach. Not Verona Beach. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. He leads you upstairs. You can stay here till my lease runs out in September. I moved out to live with my parents last month, so you get rent free. Ooh! Hmm. Plus, we have the whole summer to solve your little problem. What problem? Your mom said you hadn't had hadn't gone on a date, like, not in your whole life. 
Oh god, mom, please. It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. <laughs> or if you prefer, a summer of totally platonic friendly hangouts. Those are good too. I'm not a pickup artist, but I'm pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Verona Beach is a town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. Oh god, our mom's trying to set us up, guys. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. So, what do you think your main problem of love is? I mean, I've been pretty busy. Hmm. Well, luckily, you have nothing but free time now. Welcome to your life on vacation. Now, the first step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking to them. Uh-huh. So let's get you some confidence. There's a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. Is it dungeon crawling? Please tell me it's dungeon crawling. You have to have an open mind, though. You ready? It's... Oh my god, it is! It's dungeon crawling! Yes! Uh... uh, not sex dungeons. Though I guess there are some parallels. Never mind, don't think about that. You know, dungeons like from video games or D&D? Like that, but in real life. There's mo been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence and also getting workouts. Plus... Wait... Uh, hey, I wanted to ask, can you turn into a weapon? I can try? You squeeze your eyes shut and imagine turning into a sword, long and sharp. You open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Same old you. Oh. Aw, don't look so sad, cuz. You can't do it right. Me neither. Guess it doesn't run the family. Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Oh god, are we gonna, like, run into somebody who can transform into a car or an airplane? Are we gonna see those kind of transformations? Around here, people like us are called wielders. At least around the weapon folk. You'll do great. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine. I arranged one for this afternoon. You feel your heart start to thump. Meeting someone? Already? Jesse's eyes widen and he shakes his head. Uh... Stop, take a deep breath. It's not a date, it's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyway. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friendships, I'm sorry, perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? The important thing is that you're stronger together. So whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. The mall has monsters? Mm. Apparently, something to do with common fears? I don't really know. Ask Isaac. He'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and perfectly professional. And in the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Always check your text messages. Jesse goes to leave, then pauses. Oh. Ah, I forgot to give you your little tour of the apartment. But this is all there is. All yours. I have ideas on how you could use the shelves and desk, but we can talk about that after you've settled in. I think I can figure out what to do with the shelves and desk, Jesse, but okay. Feel free to use the mirror anytime you want to try some new looks. No pressure. See ya. See ya, cuz. Jesse leaves. Alright. Oh, who's texting me? Don't forget to meet Isaac. Uh, at the mall. Also, I just saw that the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. What's my inventory? None of it empty. A white t-shirt. Dragons galore zine. Some spicy dragon reading. Interesting. All right. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get to run around. There's the hospital. There's a church. Ah, there's the mall. This is a really cute game. Like, really, really cute. I like it a lot. Verona Mall. 
Dungeon Fear Unidentified. Oh god, okay. I thought I was just going to a normal mall, but apparently I've been dropped off into hell of some kind? Hello? Are you awake? You find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits nicely in your grip. A man's voice vibrates from the metal and up through your hand, making you jump. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Isaac, this, yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, light attack, heavy attack, dodge, and is my health boba? Oh, God. Enchanté. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. I know this voice actor. Who is this? <laughs> Quickly, somebody. Who, who is this man? But I am indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Oh. <laughs> my hand on his hilt, huh? Now, okay. if you take a look around, <laughs> you'll it. see we're in a mall. Yes, Isaac. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. Oh, God. <laughs> Isaac, <laughs> I don't know if you want to get into that with me. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. Oh, <laughs> we're fucked. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. Oh, what kind of fears? It depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Uh. Everyone's afraid of something. Mm. Let's go ahead and look around. My fear are Let's spiders. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. Alright, so that's light attack. Ooh. Very cool. Heavy it. Let's see that again. That was cool. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Isaac. My mom. Always listen to your cousin Jesse and watch out for pickpockets. Are you okay? Did you find an apartment? I'm fine, Mom. I could have texted my... Stay on your guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. I love you, too. Be good? Never. I will never be good. How did I do that before? Oh! Oh! Okay, it's multiple heavy attacks, one after the other. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. You're not bad either. After 20 years of practice, I'd better have something to show for it. Leafy! Hi, hi! Welcome on in! Welcome on in! How was your stream? What were you doing? Now let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going to the dungeon as a wielder, I fought a lot of trucks. <laughs> trucks? Yes, trucks. Strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifested. They were monsters. Pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues around masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a monster boss truck. A boss monster truck. It felt good. My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Maybe you fear connections to people and intimacy? Mm -hmm. Maybe you fear helplessness, crawling like a worm, the way it did- Hey, bu buddy, Isaac, don't. Let's not get into it, okay? You, you're here to help me learn how to fight. <laughs> we'll figure it out the deeper we explore into the dungeon. What if I die? We'll go as deep as we can today. If we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. Poor guy was haunted by a Tonka. <laughs> Tonka tough. We still get to keep any treasure we find. To avoid fainting, look for beverages, tea, coffee, that sort of thing. To keep your spirits up. Oh, I'm gonna have to pee like a racehorse. You can hold up to three at a time, use them when you need them. One last observation, you can use the power of zines, 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 in combat. 
Press the zine button to use your dragon zine and breathe fire. Oh, it's Q. Maybe later you can find a new zine and even make your own. But be sure to not always rely on them, though, as their use is limited. Right. So be brave and let's fight as best we can. Together we can overcome anything. Okay. Breakable? Oh. I need to remember to point where I want to hit. Okay. Well, you just told me that the zines are limited. I'm not going to use them if I don't have to. What's that? I don't know. Isaac, what is it? Oh, I, I have to go that way. Okay, fine. Could you imagine trying to run a business in this haunted-ass mall? What a nightmare. It's a sword. How did it get in there? Hello? The hilt is cool, almost cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. The blade is broken, though. The blade begins to transform... <laughs> Hi there. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, hello, you two. Jesus Christ. He came out guns blazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Whoa, well, hello, you two. Name Sunder. <laughs> Shirts are for wusses. <laughs> Mall rat Zorro. <laughs> Isaac Brooks, pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, God. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Why were you in a box? Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Oh, cocaine's a hell of a drug, isn't it, Sunder? Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak chanting. Now I'm all dinged up. Yeah, his tip was broken. Did you see? Oh God, they stole his tip. <laughs> I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. Are you flirting with Isaac? He's looking at, look at the bedroom ice. He's giving that other sword. My God. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dunge. Who, me? Yeah, you. I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. I thought you were talking. I thought you were talking to Isaac. I mean, look at him. He is a pretty nice sword. There were other options. Yeah, oh my god, look. Even Isaac was like, excuse me, I'm right here. <laughs> oh, if you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Are you more sword or man? Both. Don't tell me you're obsessed with body binaries. No, I'm not. I'm just... Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in. No matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. I'm sorry. It still looks like Sunder is flirting with Isaac. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, oh right? Oh my... God, look at him! Uh, are you hurt? A little, but my pride more than anything. I'm sure Isaac can explain. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. How are you gonna Here's cut your way out? I'll text you. The damaged blade saunters away. Okay, there he goes. He's just hopping away, seeming to almost dance. He huh. was knocked out? damaged and imprisoned here <laughs> no shirt no shoes no surface weapon forms heal quickly this is discrimination against the bodies. sword people as they made our oh okay still this is serious i'll report our findings to the authorities 
I hope the abductor can be caught. Seriously, does anybody, like, even come to this mall to shop anymore? Let's keep our eye out for any other victims. Like, can you imagine owning a Hot Topic or a Starbucks or a Books a Million in this store? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! What the fuck? You can't just do that to me! what that was. That was their way of kicking me out of the dungeon. Okay. The dead mall series where the entire mall is crumbling to ruin that's returning to nature except for one Sears. You're bone tired but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding a sword. And that concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Uh, sure. Sorry. Not a problem at all. The blade begins to transform. Damn, these are smooth animations. Oh my god. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> oh my god. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. <gasps> but I must get back to work. <laughs> if I may say. Your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. I mean, we yeah. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. This is what happens when people can't afford to go to therapy. They just go to these dungeons and work Until through it instead. Time. The American healthcare system is a fucking joke. <laughs> With a small bow, he strides away. All right, I think I did. Oh, fine. Did you make it to the dungeon? Report in, soldier. You didn't tell me he was hot. I met the sword man. How did it go? Wait, don't ta answer that. Let's talk in person. Damn it, Jesse. I just got the shit beat out of me. I'd like to take a nap. <sighs> hey, cuz. I heard you, uh, picked up Isaac. And he says you're a natural. Yeah, we found another Whoa, sword, too. two swords in one day. What are the odds? Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, you and me both. Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I trust you'll work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good practice being normal, alone with a handsome stranger. In case, you know, you might get nervous at all about the idea of dating. I'm not nervous. As you open your mouth to speak, your tongue feels dry as a desert. You fall silent. Huh. Nervous? I'm not nervous! Ugh, oh, nerves are that bad, huh? At least you gained a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you, I went to high school with the guy that runs a sword shop and he's single. Uh, at least that's what Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. Oh, okay. Do you know any nice axes? I really like battle axes. Or even, like, uh, I don't know, a hammer? A hammer could be cool. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac, but I got his number. Jesse pokes his phone. Uh -huh. Ah, there we go. He's free for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Sure. Yeah, I'll do it. That's the spirit. It's mostly a practice date anyway. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., he'll be at Kicks, the cafe just down the street. Remember, it's just coffee. Talk about dungeons, get to know him. This summer won't last forever, but you gotta meet new people sometime. So let's roleplay. As some practice, I'll be Eric. No pressure, just try it. Jesse, I'm good. Okay, you've just entered the cafe. I'm Eric, and I'm sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Hi. You try and say hi, but your breath catches in your throat and you start coughing. Mm. 
Hmm, maybe try in the mirror tonight. This might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You'll do fine. Practice makes perfect. See ya. Good luck tomorrow, cuz. Oh my god. They've taken my voice. They've made me very nervous. In-game confetti is... Oh my god, is just a little bit... Is just a little, little bit nervous. Go for a walk. You wander around the block and find a nightclub nearby. Ooh, go in. Well, still not as cool as the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Club, but it'll do. Hi there. You notice a woman watching you from the VIP section, but you're too shy to talk to her. Hey, Sam. Eventually you head home and go to bed. You coward! Confetti, you're a coward! You wake up paralyzed with deep, inexplicable fear. Today will be your first date for the rest of your life. What if you're not even sure what you're afraid of, but it feels like you can't breathe? Count to ten. You slowly count, focusing your thoughts. One, two, three. Eventually you feel a bit better. You get up and walk down to the coffee shop. Welcome to Kiss. Oh, I know that look. Hi, ma'am. Hmm. I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. You look around and see someone waving at you. Hey, you're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Now tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? I would prefer one-handed, honestly, because I think it's good to have a hand free to, like, grab stuff or use a shield. I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons. But it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. Yeah. He whack. Oh, okay. It, yeah, I guess. But I'm also really interested. Do you know any axes by chance? Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type. So I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. Oh, a weapon person. Hey, Skunky. Nah, that's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it. But my shop sells only pure steel. Some imported, some made on site. Do you have an issue with weapon people? <clears throat> Maybe I could give you a discount as a fellow enthusiast who'd give my blades a good home. Hmm. You seem like the kind of woman who appreciates fine craftsmanship. So you're a smith. Exactly. Calm down. I take raw, dirty hunks. <laughs> I take raw, dirty hunks of metal and with finesse and strength, turn them into art. Well, I try anyway. I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to- Eric, I'm gonna need you to slow down. We just met. <laughs> like, we just met! For now, here's a gift for a fellow craftswoman. Maybe you can do something with these. Okay, wire. I can make a garrot wire out of them and strangle somebody. Yay. A modern... Oh, plastic. A bracelet recipe? You think you could make something out of this? Anyways, I should get back to the shop. Want to go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need more frivolity in my life. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. uh, calm down. If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again soon anyway. Ciao. Eric leaves. You head home. Alright, where's the hot sword, man? Alright. Dear Confetti, I'm available for, web for lessons. I'll provide equipment at my office at Brooks Associates. If you wish, sincerely, Isaac. How'd it go? Fine, I guess? Wait, really? I mean, I'm happy for you, but you still have most of the summer left. Meet more people before you propose. Well, you didn't give me any options. It was either hearts or shit. Plus, I'll find you another date adventure soon. Jesse, do I have to answer you? Fine, I want to date weapons. What about Isaac? Um, date Isaac too if you want. 
But variety is the spice of everything. I'm gonna find you someone nice. Chill and dunge for now. Or use the crafting table I left in the apartment. You can get craft supplies, clothes, and other stuff from the shops around town. I'll let you know when your next date is set up. Cool, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, do you like dancing? Yes. I'm not good at it, though. Yes. Come to my club, La Rosa VIP. I'll be there. Okay, cool. Me too. Just tell the bouncer you're with me. Okay, my god. Uh. Hey, bracelets. Yay. Okay, so this is a gift item. Neat. Oh my god, what do you people want now? It's not a letter? Uh, Isaac, I'll come back to you. I've made plans with Sunder, so I'm gonna go see Sunder. I don't know if it's a timed event. Hmm? I'm with Sunder. The bouncer unclips the velvet rope and you step inside. Sunder is venting to a woman sitting, ne sitting next to him in the VIP area. Mm. But I can't, just can't feel a real connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Join the club. And without love, what's the point? Hey, Confetti, do you believe in soulmates? Eh, I want to. Sunder hesitates, eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. Uh -huh. Me too. I just keep getting so disappointed. I'm not sure anymore. Okay. Finisher causes enemies to bleed. They make it look so easy in the movies. Sunder, everything's easy in the movies. Come on. <sighs> Romance has been dead at least 500 years. Yeah, so Confetti, this is Mandy. She's my business partner and co-owner of the club. Charmed, I'm sure. And what kind of sword do you turn into again? Ugh. No, she's a wielder. I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? What'd you say? Nah. You know, never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling healed from my abduction and done shouting. What about you? Sure, let's dance. Yes, tonight we dance like we're gonna die in 50 years. Woo! That's very optimistic of you. Uh, uh, I'm with you, Mandy. <laughs> what? We are. Whatever, idiot. Mandy kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sways and sips his drink, but Mandy dances without abandon. I'm sorry, with abandon. You can feel the music thumping in your test. Try some dance moves. You take a chance and put your heart into every motion. Dating swords, are we? We're trying. Nice song. I like it. I like it. It's no lecher bitch, but this is still a really good one. Mandy takes it as an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Sunder smiles and leaves the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I know that they're like partners in business, but are they also quote unquote partners? Am I, am I getting dragged into some polycule thing? Are they wanting a threesome? I just got here. What the fuck? <laughs> Manti leans in, her breath warm in your ear. You should really be careful, little one. Oh. <laughs> Hi! You're very close. Sunder eats up lovers one by one. He seems nice, but he's double-edged. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so... Believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies and he's dangerous. Sunder's using you. He just met me. What could he possibly be using me for? Part of his addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Violent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in my experience, no matter what they say, people don't change. But like you. 
But I like you. You're sweet. And I'm just trying to help. Be careful. Yeah, I can date her. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Mandy kisses you on the cheek and leaves. The crowd parts as a sword that seems to be dancing its way towards you. D Mandy left, huh? Just the two of us? Let's enjoy the moment while we can. She warned me away from hey. you. She what now? Hold on. We should talk about this while I'm in my human form. I want to look into your eyes. I'll just have to prove her wrong. Everyone's done things they're ashamed of. But I'm a good person. I'll be good to you. Let's just keep it casual. <laughs> Trust me, we'll conquer the dunge and we have and have a great time together. We'll see. He just smiles and leads you back to the busiest part of the dance floor. You dance together late into the night until you're breathless and sweaty. Eventually the night is over. You head home. Oh, no, not you. Oh, God. Ah. Hey, cutie, sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off, but this is how I am. You're a good dancer. Is that code for something? Only if you want it to be. Let's go again sometime. God, what an absolute fuck boy. I can't with him. I can't with Eric either. Honey, I know you've always been afraid of change. I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you, but Jesse says you're fighting monsters? I'd hope you picked a less dangerous career, like cobra wrestling or wreck diving. I have help. I'll be careful, Mom. Good, that's my girl. If something happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Of course, I support you no matter what, but be safe. I will. Would never, would never make you sad, Mom. <sighs> Eric, I'm really gr glad Jesse introduced us. Uh, um, me too. You should come die naked steel sometime. Our scimitars have scintillating curves. Special price for a special lady, what do you say? I'll think about it. Up to you, of course. I mean, fuck, okay, I am actually- I do like a good scimitar. I'll be waiting and hoping. Okay, Isaac, let's train. Looking forward to it. Okay, cool. There's the hospital. <gasps> Pet store! Why can I go all the- Where the hell am I going? Okay. Uh, welcome. Ooh, well, I'm not buying anything. I have a dollar ninety three to my name. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, God, I'm broke. I am so broke. Um,. Well, I don't have any money, so I'm definitely not going to Naked Steel. What is he going to sell me for $1.93? A freaking butter knife? Also, the transitions really are nice. I stopped at Isaac's office by... I'm... You're stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with Mr. Brooks? I think well, so. Hello. Confetti, you made it. Christine, confetti is always welcome here. Yes, Mr. Brooks. It's good to see you. I was hoping you'd take me up on my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer foil, saber, or epee? Saber? 
So you wish to more, to, so you wish you were more quick and decisive. Interesting. We shall see. Now ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He shrugs on his fencing gear with practiced ease. Now stand straight up with your blade out towards my heart. Turn to, sorry, turn to regard me from the side over your shoulder and hip. This is the on guard stance. You're quite literally on guard. It will begin with the basic movement. Looking into my eyes, advance towards me. Front foot, then back. Mm. Hmm. Try lifting your toes first. Don't cross the legs. Now, in foil, you can only score by hitting the torso. In saber, the upper body. But in the dungeons, you don't need to score points with any dungeons. So I suppose that means we should use epe rules. Any hit counts. Let's try a lunge then. Extend your front leg with all your weight. Keep your front foot flat, no bent angle. You lunge heavily forward, feeling a little awkward. <laughs> Not bad, you have talent. Oh, it looks like we've reached a new level of understanding, so now you can parry with me. From the more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is a friends only maneuver. My god, can you imagine? <laughs> you become friends with a person and it's like, ah, you've unlocked my ability to stab a person in the back. Whenever you wield me, you can do a sneak attack and stab them in the back. To parry in a dungeon, hold dodge just before the enemy attacks hit to automatically counter, okay? That's a special move only you and I can do together, so don't forget. One second, I need a drink. Oh, here she comes. It's the star of the channel, everyone. Yes, do you have anything to say? Yes? Yes. And what else? Okay. Yeah. You can also check out our parry and the combo details in your phone later. For now, shall we take a break? He loosens his gloves and removes his fencing jacket. Hmm. If you'd like to keep training with me, perhaps we should get to know each other better. Uh, yeah, sure. You want to get dinner? Mm -mm. Sorry, but I have an appointment this evening. Soon, actually. Thank you for asking, though. What about you? You're a dashing dunge hero now, right? Mm -hmm. What do your parents think about the dangerous profession? Do they approve? Mom always supports me. I'm glad she respects your decision. It's heartening to know that such parents exist. Does your mother adopt? <laughs> Isaac falls silent for a moment, thoughtful. Mm -hmm. I do prefer life on the straight and narrow. There's a knock on the door. One minute, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? <sighs> I said one minute, please. You can wait in the lobby. <sighs> so you're just going to keep a guest waiting while you fla faff about? <sighs> Vincent, you're 20 minutes early for our appointment. I thought I might have some priority in the life of my only child. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Brooks. I'm sure meeting me is probably the highlight of your week. Mm. I'm terribly sorry, Confetti. It seems I am occupied. I'll text you to set up our next appointment. You're texting now? What's next in your slumming schedule? Will you drink water from plastic bottles too? Horrifying. <laughs> Are there any depths you won't stoop to? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Calm down, man. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't think that it's right to probably eavesdrop. I will leave. You head home. I would probably get caught. Hey, you up? Oh my god. Could you be any more of a fuck boy? You're killing me over here, Smalls. Uh, hey, you up? 
Jesse says you went on a date. They better have treated you well. Uh, you only deserve the best, you know. Thanks, Mom. Sorry, sorry, I'll let you do your thing. But if they hurt you, tell me. Mama will take care of it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mom. Uh, sorry we were interrupted, but do you care for business talk? I don't mind it. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited then. I'm not a fan myself. Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. Okay. Uh, it's crazy Jesse has a cousin like you. He's a loser or was in high school, no offense. That's mean. I'm just being, I don't like Eric. Talk to you later, hottie. Ugh. I'm gonna keep Eric on the back burner because I'm fairly certain there's some interesting story stuff there, but I don't like him. <sighs> hey, you- No, I'm not up. I am not up, good sir. In fact, I am- Oh. Okay, hold on. Why are you both at the bar? Maybe I am up. Uh-huh. Huh. I was just feeling extra sharp today. Tell me more. It's like my edge is scraped against your whetstone until it's keen aching, ready to part flesh. Show me? Am I gonna have to censor this? Okay. Woo. Woo. Okay. A plus. Good job, buddy. I want to say I'm blushing, but it's more than that. Maybe I'll show you more sometime. See you in the dunge. Yep. Um... I would like to go to the dungeon. Ten out of ninety-five. Ten out of a hundred. We'll go with him. I need to get m money. We need Brother money. Master, fearing change is totally normal. We got to have money. Oh my god. I'll get you out of here. Fuck. Oh god. Ah. Oh cat, please. No, not the camera. Ah! She knocked it over. Got the fuck beat out of me. Clearly I need to get better. Uh. Oh, mom. Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in the dunge. So it's kind of like therapy, but with swords? Yeah. Well, that's good. Sounds healthier than I thought. At least if you don't take any permanent damage. Therapy is important. It sure is. Why do I have another... Oh, especially when you're feeling on edge. I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years. It helped me grow and level up as a person. I'll try and do the same. That's my girl. Aww. Okay. Um... Okay. Can I just go back? Like, I know I just got my shit kicked in, but... Oh, options. Oh, interesting. Huh, I wonder where the save button is then. I can just go back in. 
All right, we're going to give this another go. We got this. I believe in us. Let's see if we can help you fear change just a little bit less. Yeah. Okay. get good. I need to get good. Yay, okay, here we go. Well, that could have gone much worse. It did. It really did. Originally, it went much worse. Barona Mall. Level four, level two. Oh no, it's the phones. Okay. Oh God, oh fuck, okay, 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 hold on. dollars and 56 cents chat let's go all right i got something over there hello who are you who are you a hilt is wrapped with several layers of leather and the double-edged blade is chipped what the hell oh could you not just like grab me without warning oh i'm sorry i know tradition is all choose your weapon but Consent is important. I'm sorry. No, oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to snap. I just... I'm not sure what's going on. Who the on. fuck is texting me? Now is not the time. Oh, it's Mom. She's telling me Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, that was sweet. I was out at night, as you do, and then... Bam! I'm here. My blade hurts. Monsters everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. You were abducted? I guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. I get that. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. Fair enough. I can take care of myself. Mostly. I could use some extra cash, though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ciao, for now. Bye, Valeria. Poor thing, I hope she's okay. Um... Looks like there's a big fight up there and smaller ones down here. Okay. Ah, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, we got this. Um, we got this, we got this, we got this. Remember to point. Point where you want to hit. Point where you want to hit. Point where you want to hit. We got this. rolling in it chat eight whole dollars nearly nine whole dollars uh sorry for being late how many ghosts have you seduced no ghosts yet but there are some real horny swords in this mall i'll tell you what some very horny swords in this mall oh that's the way down okay um ba -ba 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 -ba. Also, how are you doing, Naomi? What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. 
nice stuff that way. Well, swords are made for thrusting upon people. You got me there. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't mean to... I did not mean to use that shit. Hopefully I find another drink soon. I'm in the back rooms? That's not good. It's alright to let your guard down now and then. Oh, sorry, Isaac. Were you trying to give me life lessons or something? I'm busy looking for money. Or is this you... Isaac eyes the massage chairs, considering... Oh, that's what you meant. Mm. These look acceptable. However, I took a course in massage therapy too long ago. I could give you a massage if you'd like. What would you prefer? Uh, your hands go deep, please. Destroy uh. my back. Just break my back, Isaac, if you would. Kindly put my spine back into place. You think he might be blushing... Uh, excellent. I'll start with your fingertips and work my way to the lower back. Yes, please. Just relax. You feel Isaac work the stress and tension out of your limbs back to neck. When he's finished, you feel a deep lethargy, but renewed flexibility, too. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are. I hope that was accessible. My turn. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid not. An amateur masseuse can do damage, especially one as strong as you. But thank you. It's a pleasure to use an old skill. You owe me nothing. Aw. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes, but I don't know if he would like this. Oh, he didn't. I'm sorry. I'd rather not if it's all the same to you. It suits you better. Now let's get back to the dungeon, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Buddy, I'll get you a better gift. I promise. What would Isaac like, do you think? Wine books definitely books oh my god why did i come here oh the loot better be fat after this no 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 hey we did it I just wanted the money. I just wanted the money. Isaac has slightly expensive tastes. Just don't give him lipstick and bracelets. Yeah, probably a nice watch. A nice watch. Isaac the grind never quits. Oh, maybe he would like a nice uh, quality coffee. We got an elevator now. That's cool. Alright, where are all the little cell phones? Fourteen bucks, chat! We're practically rich! Ah, don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Oh, right, I need to remember to dodge. I literally have the ability to dodge, and I'm just forgetting that it exists. I also have the ability to parry. What is this? The vending machine offers several choices. You push a button and feel a rumbling beneath your feet. The okay. Did I pay for a shortcut down? The video cassettes. Oh god, what if my trauma is all the nostalgia I feel for the 90s? a bit of rest. We have. 
Hmm. You've worked up a sweat. Perhaps an ice cream will cool you down. Remember the words of Piccolo. Dodge! Yes. Dodge! Why won't you dodge? Yes. It's been a long time since I've indulged. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have an apricot gelato. What did, would you like? Choco fudge? <laughs> a sweet tooth. Mm, I'll remember that. In fact, if you could just hand me the fudge container, I would just down that sucker if you would. Ah, this reminds me of Rome. The sun on the piaz, the taste of apricot. Have you ever been to Italy? They have fantastic fencers in Rome. Top notch. Perhaps we can go to a match together someday. You would take me to Italy? You decide I don't have a gift for you. I'm sorry. If I had a gift for you that you would like, I would give it to you, but I don't. Hello. Oh, it's a challenge room. Okay. Well, good. We needed the practice. We, need, we definitely needed the practice. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Ow. Fuck. Okay, we got- Ah! Okay, I got it. 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 It's just one more dude. We got this. See? We got it. We totally had it. Nothing to worry about. Thirteen bucks, chat. And no he no healing items. <laughs> Shit. Oh god. I don't know about this chat. Well, if I go in and out of the room, they can't get me. Oh yes, they can. Oh god. I'm not afraid to pick that. Ah! I am not afraid to be a coward. Oh, ooh, I'm fucked. 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 Could be worse could be twelve dollars and no healing items. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! That could have gone much worse. I don't know if it could have. Okay, that's the way down. I need a boba. Anything. You climb down into the darkness. Where am I? Oh! I gotta save up my money for the dunge. And stop getting defeated by the likes of you. They allow humans down here? Pfft, I thought this place was exclusive. Ah. Vitas Varnus. There's a joke here. Hold on. Hold on. What does that mean? Does your name mean something? You seem worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Hmm? Oh my god, why is everything so expensive? Crimson lipstick is $65. And coral blue number 10 is $50. Ah, digital camera. Oh my god. Do you have anything cheaper? Oh. <laughs> it's 
Stay safe. Uh, change up weapon. Alright, I guess we'll just go until we die, because I can't find the exit. We got this, we got this, we got this. I'll get you out of here. Oh, shit. Man, we killed a lot of things. Look at all those things we killed. Hey, we're wielder level three. We're wielder level four. Damn, I thought we'd get another one. Okay. Oh god, me aching back. Who's texting me? Wanna meet up someday? Oh, it's Valeria! Hey, this 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 is that dagger you met, Valeria? I would love to. I would love to meet up with a dagger. Um I'd like to practice more parries. I do often practice at the mission. Care to join me? I'll get back to you on that. Mom. I was so worried when you went off to VB on your own. You're doing great facing fears and finding friends. I'm amazed. It makes me proud, my little baby bird flying on her own. Oh, it's hard without you, Mom. I know, sweetheart. You're doing something really hard and brave. But this is important, and independence is part of growing up. I'll all I'll be here when you need me. You'll always be my daughter. Aw, thank you, Mom. Okay, I will get back with you, Isaac. What? We had it. We totally had it. What are you talking about? I need to go to Naked Steel. I don't want to, but... The, so the shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register reading a book. Oh, you came. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Nice shop. Thanks. We just restocked our spadroon supply. Let me give you a tour. Yeah. Verona Beach knuckleheads mostly want switch blades and razors, but... He, we carry the finest blades. Some even made on site in my private smithery. I also teach classes at Verona Beach College about the history of war. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? What's a Talwar? Okay, a Talwar is a type of curved blade. Okay, a curved blade is nice. What's an S-stock? Okay, that is a straight blade. It's a French type of sword. Oh, these are these are my options. I've got Valeria, who's a dagger, uh, Sunder, who's a Talwar, and um, Isaac is like an S stock. Okay. Uh, but honestly, I like daggers. Hmm. Interesting. A close range fighter. You must like to feel the enemy's breath on your neck. Not really, but y'all have not offered me a bow or an axe, so. Wait, you mean a weapon person, right? Of course. What is that face? <laughs> it's naturally fascinating wielding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Excalibur would transform into if it were a person. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I did not get to mute that in time. Oh, God in heaven. Eric is jelly. Eric is jealous. He wishes he were a sword. Something like that. Uh, I want to place money on it that Eric, like, had a really bad falling out with a sword person. Thank you. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, confetti, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make, wielders make the decisions, the strategy, the tactics. 
it's not polite to say, and pure humans aren't superior, but the truth is we're better suited for leadership. That's ridiculous. I'm out of here. Um, I, I need to leave. Well, reality is a little ridiculous, don't you think? Did you ever think about how the platypus must have evolved poison ankles? <laughs> Makes transforming into weapons seem almost boring. Anyway, I have a little project I think might change your mind. I'm forging a new and improved kind of weapon. Way better than any human dagger. Hmm. I don't know what to call this supreme weapon. You can forge people? I, uh, why though? I aspire to be a great swordsmith as Goro Nyodo Masamune someday. If this blade is my opus, maybe it will deserve the name Masamune. Oh, God, get off your fucking high horse and pull your head out of your ass. I bet it'll make me rich too, even though the idea itself is simple. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. I do it doesn't need its own thoughts and feelings and baggage. 911! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, either Eric is the most obvious villain, or this is such a red herring. I, I don't know which one it is. Like, could there be any more obvious bad guy? Like, an antagonist? He hates... <laughs> he fucking hates weapon people. He thinks that they're not as great as pure, quote-unquote, humans. And he's trying to make a weapon with just a tiny little bit of intelligence, but not enough intelligence that it can sass back at him. <laughs> like, he's either the villain or he's a red herring. <laughs> It doesn't need- ah, god. Think of it, the ultimate weapon with all the tactical insight and none of the drama. You want it no. to be mindless. Ideally, no. Ideally, it would want to be my perfect tool. But in practice, yes. Oh my god! You! You must have wielded a weapon person one time and let me guess, you were a control freak and they didn't do things exactly how you wanted them to do it and now you've got it. A whole thing. You've got this whole fucking complex against weapon people. <laughs> oh my god. Initially a red herring and later the actual villain. You think? You think? Like you think it's gonna be like somebody else and then maybe he's like, Oh, I'm inspired by this antagonist's work. And then he becomes like the actual real big bad. <laughs> uh... He creates a sword with just barely any intelligence. It's a redneck bottle opener. <laughs> ah, he, you think he's stealing like little tiny bits of other people's uh, essentially souls and making them into a weapon? A perfect servant will always be more loyal than, loyal than an equal. I need to leave. I need to get me out of this goddamn store. <laughs> The sooner you realize you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Hmm. All he's willing to sell me is wire. Now what can I help you with? I'm offering you a little discount here. Leave. Goodbye. Catch you on the sharp side, cutie. You will not. <laughs> you will not. Ah. Uh. God, stop fucking texting me, Eric. Lose my number. So I guess now you see why I prefer steel weapons. Not to each their own, man. Look, I like steel weapons. I don't like how why you like them. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. <laughs> there isn't anything wrong with this entire race of people. They're just not for me. <laughs> he literally is pulling a... I'm not racist, but <laughs> can't really expect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day, can you? No, you can't. And why should you? Eric allergy developed. God in heaven, help me. Lose my number. Can we throw him into the mall to be devoured by his own racism? Maybe. Care to join me? Yes. I'll be at the Sanctuary of San Drogo. Cool. 
I might know where that is. Oh, God. why? What the fuck is this all about now? Why does he have two exclamation points? Find time and... Fuck off, Eric. Oh, he had an update. That's what it is. Uh... No. Text you later. Please lose my number. Okay. What's El Granero? Is this like a shopping? Oh, it's a theater. Opera tickets. Concert tickets. Oh my god. Everything's so expensive. Oh, Lucifer Within. That's another game. I have that on my wish list, actually. I've been wanting to play that. Um, yeah, Isaac, let's hang out. This is somehow worse than those cosplayers in Pokemon that force into your contacts. Oh, no. Uh, the church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training mm -hmm. space. It, is it? I don't know if the church is going to like this. You're improving, but your parry is a bit too consistent. My parry is a bit non-existent, I think you mean. You could try going a bit slower or faster or try a new parry direction. Surprise of the spice of life and fencing will go on take a stab at it. Throw your weapon. Right. Parry. Yes, like that. Perfect form, just lovely. You flirting with me? Certainly not. I mean, I do think you're attractive, but... Sorry, I like this song. This game has good jams. I meant the comment purely professionally, I assure you. Now let us resume. You practice parries and lunges for a while. <laughs> sure, we've both really worked up a sweat. Nice work. You even have me sweating. On guard. You launch into a new duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. Ah, you're great. Isaac pauses to take a breath. I appreciate it. Thank you. I suppose regular practice has it, its advantages. Besides just exercise and relieving aggression towards my father. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Oh, repost times is more forgiving. Nice. Mm -hmm. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? He takes off his fencing jacket and looks around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like. But she did some things right. She came from the community, mostly, but I took to it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Confetti. Some people suffer, others become swords. Mm -hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? I don't know. Questioning and open-mindedness are important. Even so, I hope you decide one day. Belief can be really strengthening, one way or the other. At least we can agree that love is power, not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or don't. I agree, Isaac. There are so many pe suffering people. I want to help them all. I know you like talking business, and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. Hm, shocker. <sighs> He releases a long exhalation, shaking his head. Sorry, I need another drink. <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Vincent can be a difficult man. A lot of saber rattling. Is he a saber? Yes. My mother was the only one who could wield him. I don't think he's used that form since she passed away. I can barely talk to him at all. 
He wants that he thinks, I'm sorry, he wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try and say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage, the courage? The courage to go into the dunge, even when you're afraid. I just plunge in. Oh? Yeesh, I tried that with Vince once as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from the scuffle. It was an accident, but still, Jesus. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than go on the offensive. Ah, a crowd starts filtering in. Perhaps a service will start soon? Oh, oh out of time already? How it flies. Next time I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have anything. Good day, confetti. Be well. I gotta get myself some gifts. If I'm gonna romance some folks, I gotta get myself some gifts. God damn it, Jesse, what do you want? Oh, is it Valeria? Who is it? Go to Paradise Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll meet you there. She'll wear a blue jacket. Uh, anything that will get me near cats. And don't forget to smile. Hmm, but fake smiles are bad. Never minding. Smiling optional. Valeria! You free? Sounds good. You gotta figure out how to scrape together some cash for the prezies. I do! Uh, really do like Isaac. Agreed with a lot of his stuff. I agree. Isaac is a good, solid, strong first choice. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? Um. Oh, <laughs> um. You don't need an emoji. Thank God. <laughs> Emojis make me feel so old. Let's go to the dungeon. Alright, buddy. Uh, in a bit. We'll go back to the dungeon in a bit. I like Isaac. He just wants to hang out and... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I tried to hit the button that time and it didn't work. And now I'm really small on my screen. Oh god. Isaac is a very good dude. Okay, before we go back to there, Paradise Lo- Oh, that's my date for tomorrow. Um, hello. <coughs> Do you have anything? Oh, cardigan combo. $12, $12, $12. A camo jacket and fabric for five bucks. I will take this because I may need it. Nice to know I can get cheap clothes here. All right. You arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone at first. Then you notice a metallic gleam on a bench nearby. Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Ah! Okay, keep, keep it together. Keep it together. You don't even know her. You don't even know her. She has a really cool design, but you don't even know her. Calm down. Calm down. Huh? She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Huh? Huh, wow. I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dunge. You're cute. How gay are you right now? Oh my god. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, oh you too. Bisexual energy is 60%. Like, oh my god. I, I cannot get over how pretty this game is and how great those animations are. And I love her character design. Look at her. 
You too. Oh, well, to tell the truth, I got a little dressed up. <gasps> she dressed up for us, chat. Thanks. By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Yeah, you guys like should be reporting this to the police. Or how my blade got chipped. In an ironic twist, someone clearly backstabbed me, so I'm a little jumpy. Besides safety first, just in case you're an axe murderer. S murderer? Murderer. Anyway, I agree with what you just said, Valeria. Huh? But also, do you know any axes? Are there any weapon people in the police? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> somebody just turns into a fucking Glock. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so funny. Though I suppose you're more likely to turn out to be an axe. Do you know any axes, Valeria? Do they exist? Where can I find them? Not that it'd be a problem if you were. That'd be hypocritical given my own. She leans in closer and lowers her voice dramatically. Situation. So, what is it? You know your deal. You can tell me. I won't judge you. <laughs> I just prefer to know up front, before anything happens. So something's going to- I'm not sure what my deal is. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I haven't heard that one before, at least. Hmm. Maybe it'll be fun to find out what it is, together. Everyone in this town is incredibly horny. Oh my god. A man approaches you, eyeing you suspiciously. Can we help you? Hey. Everything alright, V? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's peachy. Thanks. See you later. The man stares you down a moment longer before moving on. Um... Sorry, that's a friend. Checking in to see I haven't been axe-murdered. Yet, anyway. Look, don't take this the wrong way. <sighs> but your story is too convenient. You're from out of town, a newbie, never dated before... Yet you're also charming and apparently great in combat. Something doesn't add up. Nobody's called me charming before. Hmm. That's sweet, but I have trouble believing it. The truth is we barely know each other. Look, Valerie, I don't... Valeria, I don't know what you wanted out of me. I just thought maybe we could, like, talk and get to know each other and maybe find out why... Like, I was gonna see how you were doing. You got kidnapped. And if you wanted to, maybe we'd go out for burgers. I'm not asking you to marry me or have sex with me. Friends is perfectly fine. Just because you're uncontrollably horny doesn't mean I am. Uh, Malefactor. Oh, you're right. She stands. You know you have to say something or else. Uh, get to know me then. You feel a little breathless at your own daring, but Valeria, eyes, but Valeria's eyes warm a little. I suppose this is why I came to Verona Beach. New start, new friends. Uh, enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. Oh, that's cool. Point her at Sunder so she can see what a real fuckboy looks like. Right. I should, actually. And if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close, right? <laughs> right. C'est la vie. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, do you like bracelets? Oh, shit, yeah she does. These are exactly my style. You have a good eye, thank you. Y you're welcome, I made them out of plastic and wire I found in the trash. Ciao. With one last wary look, she stalks away through the park. You head home. On your way, you find a rose at your doorstep. Oh, it's Sunder. Oh, wait, it's air. Oh, no! Fuck! Ew! Why couldn't it have been from the fuck boy? Gross! Gross, 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 gross. Can I make this again? Oh, God, stop texting me! Please stop texting me. How do I make this again? I act- oh fuck. Okay, I actually don't know how I'm supposed to make things anymore.
Like, yes, it says crafted, but... Okay, hold on. Gifts. Back. Inventory. Back. Make out with Valeri in front of Eric. <laughs> Um, all right, hold on. I need to check something. Boyfriend dungeon crafting guide. I would think I would just be able to select it and yeah, how do I craft? Um... How to craft. Okay, yes. Tell me. How do I craft? Okay. Oh, God damn it! I just wanted to know how to craft! Zines, functionality, pet monsters, sleep, generate mind traps, all incredibly useful. Simply select the item you want to craft. Okay. Here you'll have access to your crafting table that tracks all of the materials and the recipes. Simply select the items you want to craft, and as long as you have enough material, you'll craft it in an instant. Do I not have enough material then? Is that what it is? I would think that I do. But maybe I don't. Hmm. Uh. Okay, hold on. Valeria, one second. Uh, next time a real date, one where I don't accuse you of being a murderer or an axe, though I knew a nice one once. Who? Who was it, Valeria? Introduce me! Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. I'm glad to hear it. You need $14 worth of material. <laughs> God, Verona Beach is bleeding me dry. I tell you what. Let's go to the dungeon in the meantime. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Fuck off, Eric. Hey, what's up? Have a good day? <sighs> I should just cut it off, shouldn't I, chat? I should just cut it off. Like, I wanted to keep Eric along... Because I thought some interesting story might, you know, appear. And it still might, but... That's kind of a dick move, stringing a guy along. Even if it is just me being polite. Yeah, strike him dead. Yeah, honestly, smote him. Don't send me those things, please. No need to thank me. Oh, you fucker! You motherfucker! A woman like you deserves appreciation. <laughs> no need <to> fuck me. <laughs> the council has decided on death, and he just went. I recognize the council's decision, and but because it's a stupid decision, I've decided to ignore it. Oh my god. My business is doing well, so I'm generous. Come by the shop sometime if you don't hate me. Oh, we're never going by Eric's again. We're never going by Eric's again. <laughs> Fuck him. Guys, are you hanging out at La Rosa without me? Oh shit, Isaac and Sunder seem to be arguing over something. <sighs> I know you're trying to help and I appreciate that, but then you have to believe me. I don't mean to doubt you, it's just that a 2% interest rate is unheard of. You're sure you've read the paperwork correctly? Do you have a copy? Uh... I got the loan a long time ago, from a family. Well, that makes slightly more sense. Love money can be very forgiving. Just answer the question, should I pay it back as soon as possible or not? Normally, I'd say yes. I've been burned many times by mixing family and finance. But it depends on your savings. What's your club's burn rate anyway? and runaway? No open flames allowed in here. No fashion shows either. Zero, I guess. Oh, Sunder, you're just a little dumb, aren't you? You're like a himbo. 
Let's try one more time. How much do you spend every month? Now that's a tough one. It depends how much I spend on gifts and special occasions. Mm -hmm. Oh my fucking god. What do you think, Confetti? Should I buy something? Should I buy you something nice this month? Buddy, no thanks. <laughs> Ouch. Aw, oh, suit yourself. I guess I can save a little money this month. Does he have the approval of the lesbians, though? <laughs> Sunder has one brain cell and it's dedicated to horny. It really is. Oh, God. What do you want to bet Mandy is the one running everything? She's keeping this business afloat. Sunder's just here to look pretty. Uh... I'm late for my next appointment, I'm afraid. If you'd like to continue this, perhaps next time bring a few bank statements and pay stubs. Nah. Stubs? I prefer to pay people their whole paycheck, thanks. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's so stupid. Yes, of course. I'll prepare my I'll prepare my advice accordingly. Good luck with your business, Sunder. It was lovely to see you, Confetti. See ya. Yeah, next time bottle service on me for both of you. Oh, hi. Oh, hi again. You say your goodbyes. Well, that was intense. Um, it's not time for my date yet. It's time to take a yes. Let's go. We'll go to one with Valerie. We'll get, we'll get a feel for her. We'll get a feel for her. Ugh, Valeria. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I keep calling you Valerie. I don't mean to. Dang, she is fast. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I found glass and wire. All right, Valeria, you ready for this? Wish we could have snuck past. We got this, we got this, we got this. They're chumps, Valeria, we got this. I know I'm, I've never played Hades before and I bet I would suck at it. He probably survives by himboing and man whoring. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, it's easy. It's easy, confetti. Point at enemy kill. It's very easy. Very easy. Hmm. Okay, there's no way I don't have enough wires and plastic now to make a bracelet. Challenge room. Okay. Let's go! You and me, Valeria, we got this. See? We totally got it. 
I have more blade jokes, but I don't know if such innuendos are good for Twitch. I mean, I don't mind. I guess it depends on how uh, R-rated they are. We got one plastic. We got 21 bucks! Holy shit! Let's get this girl some ice cream. Want some? My treat. Uh, I will have choco yeah. fudge. Ooh, maybe I should indulge too. Mmm, tastes like summer. Or at least the idea of summer. Summer here in Verona Beach is a bit too much. Valeria may only have one blade, but I think they could make a decent pair of scissors. <laughs> Damn, Naomi. Huh? That was good. What would your ideal summer be? You finish your ice cream debating the best places to spend summer. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. I guess we gotta get back to work. I can feel a sugar rush coming on. Well, I would have given her a gift if you'd let me make a bracelet. I'd make her so many bracelets, you have no idea. How much plastic can one bracelet need? Uh, next level. Okay, my dash actually gives me iframes, I think. I think, don't quote me on that. <gasps> did you see that? It got all confused. It was like, where did that clown go? Where is that clown and that sexy dagger? I should probably use these more. I just keep picking them up, but I never use them. Ah. Living on the edge, that's us. I'm not meaning to. Hello, what are you? Secret. Ooh, okay. Oh, I used them all up. No wonder. Oh, fuck me. money. Oh! We got a teddy bear recipe. We can make a teddy bear! Who would I give a teddy bear to, I wonder? Um... Let me see. I want to see if the shop has anything new. This might be a waste of money. Ah. Hmm? Yeah, it's totally a waste of money. Well, hold on. Do you think, do you guys think she would like a bomber jacket? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I know she likes bracelets, but I don't know if she would like a bomber jacket. Oh, I'm stuck down here now. I have to go down. Shoot. Sunder would probably like a teddy. You know what? I bet you're right. Oh, it's okay. I got this. 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 I totally have this. Everything is fine. Bloodthirsty phone. Oh, 
totally had it. Totally had it. I'm a master. I'm a master gamer. What am I picking up all the sugar for, actually? Am I gonna make, like, a cake or something? Can I bake recipes for people? Would be easier with controller. Ooh, this is pretty. <sighs> Feels nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm a dagger, when I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but more tense too. Does it hurt? Uh -uh. No, no, it's good exercise. I just need to stretch afterwards. She nudges you playfully and sits on the fountain's edge. You sit together in a companionable silence. Thanks. If this game has cooking recipes, I will have to stream. Oh, I hope it does. Thanks, that was nice. My life could use a little more peace. I'm ready to head back in. Alright, what do we got? Money. A whole do a whole two dollars and seventeen cents. Holy shit. Alright, let's go. You found liquid hydration is important. so bad when it's with you. I found a gold chain recipe. I wonder if Valeria would like that. She does have a lot of necklaces. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. We got this. Uh-oh. Oh, God. We got this, Valeria. We got this. Well, I don't know what's on sale, but it's buy one, get one 50% off. Did you just stick non-distinct liquid in your pocket? No, I think I stuck non-distinct liquid in my mouth. I just slurped that right up. All right, we got this, we got this, we got this. hate the cell phones the most, I think. Did I get everything? Nope, I did not. 40 bucks? Holy crap! I can take Valeria out for a cheeseburger! your fears oh I'm in a boss arena I didn't realize that oh god I gotta go I gotta hey, go get up oh shit ah! okay good to know oh my god that thing one shot me okay well well, well, well. We know what not to do next time, don't we? Don't let it hit us. Just eating floor goo, like always. Okay, can I craft? I can craft. Okay, hold on. 
Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck right up. Why can't, can I, do I just press E? What is this? I have the stuff. I'm confused. Why can't I craft it? You saw the red heart and stayed on the target. I really did. Um, cannot craft items. Boyfriend dungeon. Let me see. Uh, it's probably something really easy and I'm probably missing it. No, I don't want all the recipes. I just want to know why I can't craft something twice. Okay, when you're not in the dungeon, you can spend time in your apartment. Here you'll have access to the crafting table that tracks all of the materials and the recipes. Simply select the item you want to craft, and as long as you have enough material, you'll be able to craft it in an instant. Um, are you sure about that? Wait, hold on, here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In Boyfriend Dungeon, gifts are all a one-off item. You can craft a single version of each item during your time in the game, meaning giving them to the correct person is key. Okay, that's all I needed to know. You can only craft one. Yeah, I can only craft one of each gift. Okay, all right. That, I don't understand that. That seems a little bit weird to me. It's probably, though, to keep you from spamming, like, a thousand bracelets and giving them all to Val Valeria. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. As long as I know what's up, that's perfectly okay. Oh my god, look at him. Look at her little face. Okay. What does my phone want? Do you like museums? I do, but I have to leave you on red, honey. I'm sorry. I have to. I have a date at a Paradise Lost. Welcome to Paradise Lost. I'm Olivia. What kind of cats do you like? <gasps> All of them? That's not a real answer, you know. But it's true that every cat deserves love. Well, it's a real answer for me. Mm. Uh, I'm meeting someone. Mm-hmm. Olivia! <laughs> Valeria crushed to death by bracelets. Valeria literally jangling her way through the entire dungeon. Oh, sorry, I thought Jesse would tell you. He sets us up. Oh, and I forgot to take off my work apron. Sorry, one second. Olivia takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang and pet cats. I don't really like dates anyway. Hmm. Who wants to play some games of trying to guess the right thing to say? And then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing? It's all so fake. I totally understand. Do you? Or are you just playing a dating game? I'll never know. Getting a little meta here, Olivia. But also, hey, if you just want to hang out and pet cats, I would love that. Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focusing on in the distance. Wait, don't look behind you. I think someone's watching us from the window. Oh, fuck, is it Eric? You peek from the corner of your eye, but you don't see anyone. Hmm, they're gone. Maybe I was imagining things. Oh, it better not be Eric. Oh, <gasps> baby! An elegant cat walks up and sits nearby, staring at you curiously. Huh? I don't recognize this. I don't recognize this one. Who are you, kitty? Are you new here? She's so cute. May I pet you, perhaps? 
Olivia reaches her hand tentatively, but the cat stalks away, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. You spend some time with Olivia, chatting and petting cats. This was nice. See you around. You want to meet up again? Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Thanks, but no thanks. Sorry. It was nice to chat, but you're a little bit too intense for me, to be honest. Okay, no problem. So if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. Sorry. Sorry about that. I did not mean to offend. I just thought we could hang out and pet cats. The cat gives you a pitying look. Here, kitty kitty. The cat stares at you until you feel uncomfortable. I just... Is it so much to just ask for friends? I just want to hang out with a cool cat lady. <gasps> Fuck you, Eric! I knew it! I fucking knew it was you! Oh my god. Oh my god. It was great, actually. Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna come back to that. I'm, I'm, I, I can't deal with that man. Eric is a cat. Eric was the cat. Oh, God. Uh, we're friends, maybe? Aw, oh, sweet. Friends are the best. This is progress. Just think, a few weeks ago, you never dated anyone, and now you have experience and skills. If you want to change up your wep weapon combo, check out the gym in town, and the most romantic holiday is around the corner. Arbor Day? No, silly, the 4th of July. Nothing more romantic than a barbecue and fireworks. Of course. That's the old American way. You think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my partner, Samantha, at a barbecue. It's gold. You'll be all... <gasps> I'll send you the details soon. All right, Jesse, thanks. You like museums? One second. Valeria, I have to send a... Can I block his number? I have to send this man to the Shadow Realm. Guess it didn't work out, huh? Leave him to his boring collection of non-sentient knives. What if he just keeps texting me? What didn't? You know, your date with the coffee cutie. Fuck me! Ah! They think they're so much better than us. But you're not. You're better than- Ah! Please stop. Sorry if I'm- ah! Where's the block button? So the only reason I answered his message is because it may progress the story. I don't actually know. I don't know if, like, I need him to progress in stories. Just fake your death via Photoshop. I would love museums. Let's go. You want to rob it? I'll rob it with you. Meet me at the museum? Wear something red. Sure. Ha, JK, wear whatever you want. Fuck you, I'm wearing something red. Oh, I don't have the option. Ooh, I look cute. I look, oh my god, I look cute as hell. Confetti got the Yamcha pose. Well, I'm wearing red. I think it saved. Yeah, it did save. Okay, cool, cool. Who's texting me? Nobody. Good. Keep it that way. Um... All right, let's go. You do look very cute. Thank you. You find Valeria in the lobby and she leads you into the museum. Huh? In the first gallery, Valeria glares daggers at one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is boring. Boring. I don't trust it. You saying I'm not perfect? Huh? Shit, you trapped me. Of course, you are perfection itself. You too. <laughs> well, I'll have to revise all my opinions on the subject of perfection. Valeria guides you through the museum without a map, according to her whim. Would you like to offer a gift? 
I need a guide! You don't understand. Normally I wouldn't give a shit, but you only get to make one of each gift. Okay, so... Ballet tickets... What is Valeria like? Fine leather goods. Pepperoni pizza. God, she's a girl after my own heart. She doesn't want the teddy bear. She does not want the teddy bear. Oh. I don't even think we can romance. Maybe? Oh, they just didn't include Sunder's picture. I'm sorry. Uh, there are a couple people who here who just don't have their pictures included. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Valeria will not accept any of the gifts that I've got. So, I'm not gonna give her any. Can you give her paint? I can give her pepperoni pizza. You decided to not give a gift right now. She talks about art with an intimate fondness, like their eccentric family oh. members. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which would it be? Well, that's a loaded question. I know, that's my favorite kind of question. She's setting us up. You wearing a wire, Valeria? Give her the Tesseract. <laughs> also, gentlemen, I love that combination of emojis. Thank you. You never really thought about it before? I'd steal the Birth of Venus by... It's in the Musée de Orsay, ground floor near the stairs. That's a very specific thing to know, Valeria. You know, I was saying I'd rob a museum with you, but I'm a little bit afraid now that I might actually have to. <sighs> the real issue is its size. It's 3 by 2.18 meters, and it would be a crime to roll it up. Um... You know the one statue that doesn't have its head but has its uh but has the wings? That one, I would steal that one. What is that one? Nike Victory? Oh no, I'm sorry. The Winged Victory of Samothrace. I would steal that one. If we're talking about things that we would steal, I would steal that one. Huh? Well, I wouldn't do... <laughs> well, it wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I'd miss out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. What would you liberate? Uh, well, everybody goes after Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Uh, Klimt's Kiss is actually really good. I actually have a book on Klimt's art. O'Keefe's Summer Days. I don't remember what that one looks like. Oh, it's been forever since I looked at O'Keefe's stuff. Oh, the one with the skull? Shit, that's a, that's a tough one. Oh, okay, so Georgia O'Ke O'Keeffe's uh, Summer Day is looking at it now. It's a really nice painting. I like it a lot. But I think I like Clint's, uh, Clint's The Kiss a little bit more. Like, I love Georgia O'Keeffe's stuff, but I do love Clint's Kiss a little more. A passionate, bold piece. Rather like you, I think. I think I'd go with Klimp, though. It's just so... Mm, I, exactly! It's so good. Same brain cell. Exactly! I'm glad that we can agree on, uh... On what art to steal from. She's probably a Geiger fan. Her or me! Because you're right. I also have a book on H.R. Geiger's artwork on my shelf. 
Uh, did I ever tell you guys? I don't think I ever told you. There's a funny story associated with that art book, actually. So do you remember back when Hot Topic was kind of scary and everything? Uh, my aunt took me in there one day because I really like shopping there as a teenager. I think I was like 15. And she's like, oh, you can pick out anything you want in here and uh, I'll get it for you for a Christmas gift. And I was like, okay, cool. And I picked out a book of H.R. Geiger's artwork, but it was wrapped in plastic. So all I could see was the cover. I couldn't actually look at the contents. We had no idea what was in it. So come Christmas, I'm at my grandmother's house and we're, I'm sitting next to my dad and I unwrap my book of H.R. Geiger artwork and I take off the plastic. And if you know anything about Geiger's artwork, you know that he was not afraid to show literally everything like penis, vagina, penis going into vagina. So I crack this sucker open and there's just an entire painted orgy scene of mountains fucking and this pattern <laughs> painting of uh, literally dicks going into vaginas. <laughs> and my dad just looks over and he's like, Huh, that's some interesting art. And then he didn't say anything else for the rest of the night. <laughs> I don't think she got in trouble. We had no idea. I've seen this somewhere. Yeah, we had no idea. I had no idea that Geiger's artwork was so, like, graphic. And neither did she. We had no idea. I still have the art book, though. It's one of my favorites. Um, I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea, anyway. Geiger had some interesting things wrong with him, lol. Heck, his work is what inspired the xenomorph, xenomorph the embodiment of that word. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, I was, I was 15. I hadn't done my research into Geiger. I had no idea. I knew that he had done artwork for the Alien movie, and that was it. And I only saw the cover of it, and I thought it was cool. So, art should be free out in the world, not hidden away like this. <sighs> But Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum's free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe we could go look at it together sometime. I'd love to know what you think. People are saying it's the Roses of Venus. You know, the anonymous graffiti artist. Is it you? Are you the Roses of Venus? Do you want to show me your sketchbook, Valeria? I would love to see it. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Hmm. Geiger had some interest, had some great ideas, but you can only draw things going into other things so many times. I mean, I don't know. Have you... One second. I gotta get the book. I can't show it on stream. I would be immediately banned off Twitch, but... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, there you are. It's got such an interesting title. It's just literally H.R. Geiger and then A-R-H plus sign. That's, that's literally the title of the book. Her opinion on art museums is also how I feel about zoos. I think art museums and... I think art museums are good. I think it's good for the preservation of art. Because things like that can be very delicate. And at least with museums, you can have them, like, you could have a, uh... God, help me. Words. You can have staff on hand that can help with restoring paintings or sculptures and making sure that they are actually, like, kept safe. Um, now, the ridiculous prices of some museums should be talked about a lot. Oh my god, yeah, so the title of the book is H.R. Geiger A.R.H. plus sign. That's it, that's literally it. It has some very interesting pictures in there. You look around and see what's distracting her and wait. It's the guy from the park. He's standing at the gallery entrance, glaring at the both of you. Um... I'm so sorry. I'll take care of this. She grabs the guy by the shoulder and pulls him away. She whispers to him. They look intimate, like they've known each other forever. 
After a few moments, Valeria returns, looking flushed and angry. Ugh. Do you want to get out of here? Uh, why was he uh, here? Uh. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go somewhere else with you. Oh, shit. Uh, Caravaggio. I'll have to look that up. Hell yes. You stay- you take Valeria home to your apartment. <laughs> oh no, not my shitty apartment. <laughs> She's confident, knows what she wants, and she quickly figures out what you- Oh! Wait, hold on! Uh... Huh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. Woo! After she snuggles into you, her hilt perfect in your palm, you're warm and cozy and soon fall asleep. It's fine. We just watched movies. We just watched movies and fell asleep. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. And in the morning, she's gone? What? She didn't even stick around for breakfast? Almost got you another date, but I need some info, be honest. Would you rather know a guy who's buff or sweet? Uh, more info, please? Okay, that's fair. Uh, his name is Jonah, and he's the best. How do you know? We used to date a while back. Way before Samantha. He was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yeah, they can both be buff and sweet. Also, I mean, Valeria did not say we're dating. I'm assuming Valeria just smashed and then left in the morning. I want to see you again, but I need to think. Let's just dunge for a while. Yeah, let's- let's murder. Valeria wants to keep things casual. She's got trust issues and that's okay. Okay. I would like- okay, I've got a couple things I can check out. I need to check out the gym. And I also want to check out... Hello! I have $40 worth of stuff. Now, the cardigans are very cute. I love that red. Oh, how... Oh, wait, they're both just $12. Okay, I can take both. Yeah! There we go. Okay. Alright, I spent $24. That was a lot of money. So we're gonna have to earn it back. Oh, I look snazzy. And now, ah, uh, yes. I am gonna look so good on my date. And this is my ass-kicking look. Alright, we're good. Oh, wait a second. This is a dungeon. Um, I am actually going to take Sunder with me. I already worked on my abs today. What's next? Oh. 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 Okay. Hold on. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I can't actually do anything, apparently. Never mind. Never mind. What do you want? Oh, the ballet is here. Concert tickets. Marsky and McQueen. The Holy Energy. A Blessing Soft and Warm. Dark Essence. The Shadow Lurking in Every Heart. What? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that was. That was interesting. What are you guys fighting about? You find Valeria and Isaac relaxing together. Hmm. Depends on my mood, of course, but perhaps the brie, walnut, and rosemary waffles I had a few summers ago? It was probably mostly butter, but if so, I'd bet it was from a very happy cow and freshly churned that day. Hmm? And you? Hmm, tough call. I'd say pork ribs I had on a street corner in New Orleans, probably. Everybody I know knows everybody else. <laughs> I just can't resist a bit of spice. Hey. Oh, Confetti, what about you? What's the best thing you've ever eaten? It was home cooked. You describe one of your favorite food-based memories. You helped your family all day with the meal until the whole house smelled like it. You feel a brief wave of homesickness just thinking about that day. Oh no, the two people no agree. When you describe it to Isaac and Valeria, you feel yourself blushing. <laughs> hmm, that'd be perfect. Thank you for sharing such a lovely memory with us. What? No, hand on hip is fine. Sounds like a big commitment, but at least it's one with payoff. Maybe we should meet for cheese and wine plates sometime to compare notes. Mm -hmm. I'd love that. Come by the studio anytime. Just be careful not to get paint on your suit. Right. Right, absolutely. See you soon then. Ciao. Nice. Nice. Okay, but in hot. Nice seeing you both. Okay, so I really like Valeria, but also consider the chat that if we do end up going with Isaac, goddamn, he is kind of loaded. All right, we're going to do a couple floors with Sunder. I want to level him up. And then we'll go out and then we what do will shop for? I don't know what do monsters shop for oh no he casts bleed that's like my favorite of so my two favorite status effects to put on enemies are bleed and poison hold on okay that's nothing then I thought the wall was broken there I guess he's not bad I like his status effects but I like how fast Valeria is monsters shop for gross scaries ah ooh though I do like his range now that I'm getting a little bit more used to it, his range is nice. He has the range, darling. Those are the stairs down. Might need Zeke the Spylander. Oh god, getting all turned around. There we go. Oh god. Dodge left! I mean right! Uh, 
I do need to learn to dodge better. Cha-ching! It's very important that I learn to dodge! Alright, you want a break, buddy? Sunder watches the waterfall mesmerized. Where does the water come from? Would you like to offer a gift? What does he like? Who wants the teddy bear? Okay. So she doesn't want it. Don't know who that person is. Don't know who that person is. Haven't met that person yet. Um, okay. He does not want the teddy bear. No, he does not want the teddy bear and the chain. Nope. And no. Okay. He doesn't want anything I have. The sound of water is almost musical. Not very good for dancing, though. More like a trance. I think they have a musical store. I'm sorry, I think they have a music store. I guess those don't really exist anymore. I'm sorry, I completely fucked up that sentence. He said, you think they'd have a music store, but I guess those don't really exist anymore. Hmm. But malls aren't popular anymore either, and here we are, so anything is possible. Oh well, let's keep going. God in heaven, help me. One day I'll learn to talk right, but today will not be that day. Oh good, he's maxed out, all right. So we're gonna change our weapon. And we're going to do Valeria. second. I forgot. I can change the drink I want. Yeah, I don't I actually don't like Bobo all that much. I just don't like tapioca. Oh! It's a skating ring! I never quite got the hang of ice skating. Um, it's fun, don't get me wrong. I just fall down a lot. I hope you're ready. <laughs> hang huh? on to me. Are you sure? I need to bring you down with me. But here goes. She clings to your elbow, carefully putting one skate in front of the other. Faster! <laughs> Heek, wait! How do I stop? She slips and stumbles, but you help her regain her balance. <laughs> Valeria beams, excitement flushing her cheeks. Eventually, you take off the skates. Would you like to offer a gift? No, she doesn't want anything. You decide not to offer a gift right now. Thanks. That was fun. Yeah, let's go! Where's the money? I need the money. Oh. Ooh, we're in the thick of it now! Thunder's great for crowd control. Valeria. They're both good in their own way. They're both good in their own way. And I have never used any of the Veens ever. 
The zines. <laughs> the zines. Jesus Christ. Alright, next level. Who do I want to take into the boss fight? I mean, it's just one boss, so... Now, if there were multiple enemies, I would say probably Sunder, because uh, his ability does seem to have pretty good crowd control. But if it's only one enemy, I think we're probably okay with Valeria. Finally, a monster-free zone. Yes! The massage chairs! They return! We have a time for a little self-indulgence, right? You sit in the massage chairs. They begin to vibrate and knead your back. Ugh. Too soon it's over. You feel more relaxed. Would you like to off- No. I'm sorry, Valeria. I don't have anything for you. Huh? Do you think the monsters use massage chairs to relax when they're not fighting? Definitely. <laughs> she laughs to herself. Yeah. All those weird vertebrae need special massage expertise, I'm sure. Until we chop them up. Let's go. Ooh. A red rose recipe. Oh, fuck me. Ah, we got this. Oh. A workbench. A fashion zine recipe. Fashion zine? What does that do? Oh. What did we find? Okay, hold on. Can I use you? No, I can't. Darn it. Where's the challenge? Thank you, Aldrich. <coughs> oh, that nearly went down the wrong tube. I'm okay. We're good. Let's do this. Wait, what the hell's still alive? Okay, there we go. Sleepy time scene. Okay. bad. Whew, I'd high-five you if I could. Nice, 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 nice. We're doing fine. We got this. Level four. Alright, next level, baby. All right, the boss. All right, chat. So what are we not doing this time? We're not going to stand in one place and get hit. That's right. Oh, 
shit. Ah, no! Got the night helmet recipe and a key. And there's some weird singing going on. Hello? Okay. Okay. Dodge it? I don't even know. I wouldn't mind taking a breather. Okay. Huh. Huh. Reminiscent of Steinlen, but even more poppy and mainstream. Probably just a lazy knockoff. But it's possible the artist is knowingly commenting on the commercial placement. It'd be nice if the piece were both pretty and honest. They're both important components, wouldn't you say? In, um, art, of course. Both are essential. <laughs> you're just agreeing with me, coward. You and me, we're doomed if you're a liar, even just as friends. I guess we'll find out sooner or later, huh? Fine. I might have to give, um, oh god, I'm gonna die. Ah, shit, okay. I need to learn to parry. And to dodge, my god. I might actually have to play he Hades. I never did, but I might have to. Though I may have to buy a new controller before that. I have horrible drift on my controller. Ooh, a vodka recipe. I'm crafting vodka? down yeah okay nice oh I should have switched to Isaac actually I haven't maxed him out
nice to stretch after such a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm in Dagger, I'm more focused. You enjoy mm -hmm. it, right? Of course. Why do you think I'm here? The pay isn't that great. It really ain't. She nudges you playfully and sits on the fountain's edge. You sit together in companionable silence. Thanks. Thanks. This was nice. My life could use a little more peace. But now I'm ready to head back in. I think I'm getting it. I, oh my god, it's shooting! Hey, get up. Oh, fuck. Okay. Level eight. Level nine. Level ten. Oh my god, level eleven? Okay, whoo! Wanna go to the club again? Okay. Uh hey cuz, what do you want? I don't know Sunder well, but I heard he doesn't have the best track record. Just so just be careful, okay? Okay. Would you hear it from Eric? Did you hear it from your friend Eric? Mind meeting me again? I'll explain some things, please? Sure. <laughs> Here's a hint for where to find me. Alright, she's at the park. Yeah, let's go to the club again. It's a date. I'm all yours. Alright, well, if it's a date... Yes, there we go. I'm gonna level up every time. All the time. Never stop. Alright, we're gonna talk to her first. What did I do? I just showed up! Valeria is sitting on the park bench glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she sees hey. you. Oh, hey, you came. I'm really glad. I wasn't sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together. Not one bit. Um... I wish I had been... I don't know. Wrong reasons? Huh? Yeah, it's all a bit complicated. I can talk about it, but... The sound of loud quacking interrupts her. Is there a Chris the Chris? I don't know. Ugh. Shut up, ducks! Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds ducks at the park. Uh, I mean, I used to feed ducks, but you're not supposed to feed them bread. You're supposed to feed them, like, peas or something. Uh, do I feed ducks at the park often? I'm not. God, I hate their beady little eyes. And don't get me started on their snapping bills. Damn, Valeria! They're kind of cute! A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck, got too close with a piece of bread, and then- Oh, now you're pulling my leg. Valeria snaps her fingers. <laughs> Gone, just like that. Is that true? <sighs> Valeria's lips twist into a rueful grimace, and she sighs. Okay, I may be exaggerated, but only a little. Um... And, um, promise not to laugh? It didn't happen to a friend. It was me. Valeria holds up a finger, showing you a faint scar on her index finger. It's only a scratch. Well, that's what it looks like now, but at the time, geysers of blood. Fountains. <laughs> it was a crime scene. You could even say it was a... Foul deed! Oh god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she looks mortified and groans out loud. Um... Let's just pretend I never said that, okay? I don't have anything for her. You decide not to give a gift right now. I guess it feels okay to just be silly around you. I feel like I can be myself. Surprise, I'm a huge dork. I like it. 
Good, because I'm not going to change anytime soon. And I hate pretending to be someone I'm not. Next time we go on a date without the risk of duck. Hell yeah! Oh, it's almost time. It's 9.40. I didn't even realize. Time huh? flies by when you're dating swords. Uh, around 10, I've got to get going because we are actually gonna be playing a game with Uni. We were talking about something actually important before. Right, remember I was going to awkwardly explain Jake? You don't have to. Uh -uh. No, I want to. One second, let me make sure I'm not getting messaged on Discord about it. I am getting messaged on Discord about it. Shit! Would it be possible to push it back one hour or would that make it too late? I'm down for it. Okay, maybe I don't have only 20 minutes. Let's do this. No, but I want to. So that guy, right, who keeps showing up, his name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years. Um... And um, I dated his sister as well at the same time. I mean, they both knew. Jesus Christ, Valeria. Like, that's a little... Uh, mm. You dated siblings? Trust me, it was even more work than it sounds. We messed up a lot at first, but we learned... Got better at being together. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me. Three artists against the world. We were everything to each other. We had the same goals. We believed in the same things. And then... Oh, uh, what things? Beauty and love. What else is there to believe in? But Jessica wanted more. More recognition. More adventure. More everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start, and Jake followed me. I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a really good person. Really? Uh, he's in love with you. Hmm. Maybe a little. We were together for a long time. Is that so strange? Ugh. But I think I always loved Jessica a little more. That's terrible, isn't it? Maybe a little. Fair. I'm working on it. As for Jake, I don't love him anymore. Not in that way. But we still have some business together, I suppose you could say. Ugh. Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him off. Get him to back off for real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. She got me a beret. I saw it in the museum gift shop and thought of you. Aw, well, thank you. You don't have to wear it, but you'll look dashing if you do, I'm sure. And you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. You know, my paintings, if you wanted. Yeah, sure. <laughs> then it's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. I look forward to seeing what you think next time. You have a lot to think about. As you leave, the afternoon light fades into evening. Alright. I have a beret. I have a beret! Oh, why do I have two fucking messages? Uh, Okay, so are you and a plus one invited to my 4th of July barbecue tomorrow? Jonah really wants to meet you. And he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. So are you going to invite anyone? You know what? Definitely. Tell them to bring something. Haha. -ha. See you tomorrow. Fuck. I got to invite somebody to the party. How did I make a rose out of sugar? How did I make vodka out of fabric? Okay, I know you've been talking to me, honey. What have you been saying? Before I come- before you come over, I gotta clean. Oh god, hey, calm down, calm down. I love murals! 
I can't see your text messages. But this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. Oh my god, Valeria. I don't think this is gonna work out. We'll let you know when it smell we'll let you know when its smell is gone too. In the meantime, I found some cool art by the mall. Maybe we can check it out together sometime. Sounds delightful. I'm gonna go see this dude. And then I'm gonna invite Isaac on a date. You spend time at La Rosa with Sunder. A bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP mm. section. Hey, let's get to know each other better. Ask me anything, beautiful. So what do you do? I own this place with Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I make do with the scraps. Life is for living, right? So why work? I'd rather have a good time. Tell a joke. All right, uh, this guy's career? He's literally just here to look good. Mandy's running everything. Oh my god. We cannot date Sunder, guys. He would be terrible. Can you imagine him not wanting to work? He just stays around at home. Well, then again, I guess if he's a house husband, it would be fine. Fine. But do you think he knows anything about, like, cleaning a house or cooking? Hold on, I'm getting some sword jokes. Okay. Does anyone know any good sword fighting puns? I'm trying to think of any words that have a dual meaning. Uh, let's see here. When it comes to sword jokes, I'm on the fence about them. He'd be the slutty trophy husband at best. He really would be. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just vibing to the music for a moment. Dance floor. Do more damage when surrounded. I spend most of my nights dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. Sunder meets your gaze with the intensity that makes you blush. His focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts away. Uh... I'll be right back, beautiful. Don't go anywhere, all right? He smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. You wait. It's probably only been a few minutes, but it feels like he's been gone a long time. You feel an itch, a hunch, a suspicion. Maybe made of nothing but jealousy? Check the bathroom. You wonder if you should go after him. Your guts feel tight and hot with tension. You tell yourself not to be paranoid. I don't trust him. You decide just to take a quick peek to calm your nerves. You find the back door propped open. Outside, you hear giggling. What the fuck? You step outside to find Sunder leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. Is that her? Because someone likes... Is that her? Because someone like that's watching us. Sunder leaps away from her, wiping his mouth. Hey. What? Oh, hey, confetti. Sunder's a vampire? Or is this, like, role play? So this is weird. I'm gonna go. Uh... No need to sneak up on a guy. I was coming back in. Who was that? Mm. Who her? She's just a friend like you. No big deal. Just chill out a little, okay? We have so much fun together. Buddy, I don't know what you thought we were, but we're not dating, and I'm definitely not sleeping with you. I want to make you feel special because you are... I like you a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Hmm. But also sometimes I want to kiss other people. And I'm sorry if that hurts. Let's just be friends. And miss out on all this? You're not going to find a sharper blade, cutie, but you're lost. It's fine. We can still have fun together as friends. I'll do right by you, confetti. Trust me. Would I like to offer a gift? You know what? What does he like? I feel like he's a vodka man. Um, Sunder loves, he likes vodka. Okay, you know what? Here's to our friendship, Sunder.
Oh, artisanal and just for me. You know how to spoil a boy. Yeah, artisanal, all right. I made it in the toilet of my apartment. You're welcome. You head home. Who do you invite to Jesse's barbecue? Uh, I'm going to invite Valeria. I feel like... Actually, no. I'm going to invite Isaac. I haven't gotten to hang out with him, and I like Isaac a lot, and uh, Isaac knows Jesse, so I feel like they'll be more comfortable, whereas Valeria might feel a little bit out of place because she doesn't know anybody there, and neither do I. So, he accepts and says he'll meet you there. On the way over, you pick up something to share. I'm taking back a cake. You worry it's not enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everyone likes cake. You find Isaac waiting outside Jesse's house. I couldn't find anything red or white or blue to wear. Sorry. You look great. Isaac smiles. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music in the backyard. You go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Yeah, yep. I fucking love your shirt. Where can I get it? Everyone be friendly, okay? A few strangers look at you curious curiously and raise a glass. Your cheeks feel warm. Oh, you brought cake! Perfect. We needed something sweet. And who's this with you? <laughs> oh my. You introduced me. Good to see you again, Jesse. Thank you for introducing me to my favorite student. <laughs> You're very welcome. I love to see a good blade find a good wielder. Besides, Confetti always seems excited to meet a new sword. Excellent. In any event, I brought a bottle of Bordeaux. May I help you with anything? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Let's go prep the burgers and shrooms. Hmm. In the meantime, Confetti, meet Jonah. Here, go. Talk. Hello. Oh, no. They handed me a thick boy. You can't just hand me a thick boy. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, keep it together. <sighs> hi. Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. Um, hi, I'm Jonah. Shoot. You knew that already. And you're confetti. That's me. Yeah, cool. Well, um, so that's us. Oh, he's shy. You stand awkwardly, both of you trying to think of something to do. So what do you do? I do a lot of surfing. And hanging out, mostly. And some reading, too. Oh, God. Do you work? Oh, wait. Did you mean for work? I don't really have a job right now. It's okay. Lots of people don't have jobs. Jesse said you fight monsters, is that right? So you're some kind of hero? Uh, it's no big deal. That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. I've been thinking about trying the dungeon out myself sometime, maybe. Jesse said you wield, um, weapons down there? I can sometimes- he He's an axe! He's an axe! Oh my god, he's an axe! Shit! Ah! He's thick and he's an axe! Fuck! Ah! Okay. Oh, oh. Keep it together. Keep it together, chat. <laughs> uh, that's amazing! <laughs> Thanks, it doesn't take much effort, though. I just decided to change shape, like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Yes, I would love that. I would love for you to show me how you turn into an axe. Oh my god. Anyway, I could definitely use the money from a gig, but uh... you promise we won't hurt anyone? Like, not even animals? Only monsters. And who decides what's an animal or a monster, I wonder? Uh... But I don't really have a choice. I wish, her I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime? Or if you want to hang out, like, as humans, I'm usually at the beach. Sounds good. 
I mean, to be fair to you, Jonah, I think the monsters just, like, respawn. I don't think they actually die. Um, Isaac politely rejoins you and Jonah bearing burgers. <laughs> that cousin of yours is an excellent chef confetti. Mr. Rooks, wow, Verona Beach is such a small town. Also, the monsters are manifestations of our insecurities and fear, Jonah. It's not like we're actually killing them. We're just doing therapy, if you think about it. Um, anyways. Eric Ab Ah, fuck me. Who invited you? Jesus Christ, they really did make him the biggest douchebag. It's almost comical how fucking unlikable he is. <laughs> Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Oh. oh. Hello. May I kiss your hand? Uh, no thanks. Eric smiles as if you made a joke only he could understand. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey Eric, I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem the patriotic type. Well, I heard the elusive confetti would be here, so I had to make an appearance. Uh, I would also like to go to therapy by smack- If I could go do therapy by smacking monsters, I would. Same. Also, the monsters give you money after you smack them. With the romance of the barbecue and fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. Dude, I'm already dating half the town, and you're not included, so- Real subtle, bro. Ha, subtlety is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. Hmm. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on my target. I'm not a target. Hmm. Of affection you are, my sweet. Is my chivalrous ardor stirring your loins? Oh, fuck me. Ugh. Party music plays from the speakers inside the house. Everyone starts talking louder. Ugh. Eric shudders as if in deep pain. Ear poison. I cannot stand modern music. It robs the moment of any elegance. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. Are you okay, confetti? Eric really gets to you, huh? I hate him. You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Isaac gently touches your arm as if to give you strength. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Mm. Eric and Jesse and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. It's a nice thought. Yeah. Well, it's probably just a thought. I don't know if he can be helped, honestly. The evening goes by surprisingly quickly with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grilled portobellos steadily, walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets, watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel wildly romantic energy surge through. You have to resist. You take a deep breath, then another. The impulse passes and the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Don't want to put the pressure on nobody. Those were some explosions, all right. Now back to partying. Hmm. That's my cue to bid adieu. I have a fencing lesson early in the morning. Thanks for the invite, Confetti. Bye. See ya. Left to fend for yourself, a deep tiredness soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. Oh my god, what do we got? Okay. Alright, how was the barbecue? Romantic, right? Nah. Well, in my honest opinion, in my opinion, I tried my best. It seems like you're happy, so honestly, I consider my job here done. You've met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of the summer. Is that okay? Um. Sure. 
cool. Now we can just be normal friends and cousins. Phew. Love you, cuz. Talk to you later. Yep, TTFN. Hey, thanks for coming last night. You're my fave dance partner. X my heart. Winky face. He's fine. I don't mind the himbo being around if he's just gonna look pretty, but I'm not dating him. Nice meeting you uh, at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk sometime. Uh, if you ever wanted, maybe I could show you my surfing spots. Sounds fun. It is even more fun with friends, though. Either way, I hope your summer in VB is the best. Thanks. Come to the beach sometime if you feel like it. I will. Uh, oh, did I get another text? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, yep. It looks like, uh, Monster Prom 3 is still pushed off for another hour. So, I need to change my outfit. Yeah. Don't need the hat. Don't think there's anything around here. All right, who do I want to take? I think I'm gonna take Isaac. Yes. I can't take Jonah yet. Oh, wait, actually, can I go to the beach? <gasps> I can go to the beach! The ferry docks? What can I buy here? Uh, the basis of all food, I can buy tape. Wire and a lighthouse keychain. It lights up when you press it. Oh, it's a gift. Okay. All right, Jonah, you arrive at the beach and see a lot of surfers enjoying the windy day. God, I wish that were me. After some squinting, you see a particular surfer out on the water waving at you. You see the surfer make a beeline towards you, ignoring the waves. You think he's smiling. God damn, that's a lot of man. Sooner than seems possible, he's jogging towards you, dripping with salt water. It's Jonah. Hey. Hey, phew, glad I caught you. I was just about to take a break anyway. Can I get you a beer? Sure. He gives you a small smile and buys a drink from a guy with a cooler passing by. The bottle is cold against your palm and already sweating from the heat. Delicious. Uh, uh so it's another beautiful day, huh? Yep. You both sit quietly and look out over the beach as the waves roll in. Sorry. Aw, oh, dang. Awkward silence again. Sorry, huh? I thought all kinds of questions to ask you, but they're gone now. Poof. Maybe it's because I lost my job, but I don't feel like I'm thinking so clearly these days. It's okay, buddy. We've all been there. Uh. I kind of don't want to think at all. Maybe it sounds dumb, but I just want to stop and listen to the waves. You seem smart <laughs> to me. <laughs> you don't know that, but thanks. Maybe it's both. I think even someone really, really smart might be distracted by being fired so suddenly. Like, one day everything's stable, and then the next, you don't know how you're going to eat. I worked in a grocery store, and I was fired for turning into my axe form, basically. Harsh. I know, right? It's not like I did it to threaten anyone. A kid in checkout line was asking his mom all kind of questions about weapon people, and it was clear to me that the kid was weapon curious. The mom didn't know what to say. So I turned into an axe for a second, you know. So it'd feel normal and he wouldn't feel so alone. Oh, oh my god, here we go. God damn. That's a lot of man. Ah! Like that. See? Not a big deal, right? At least I thought so. It's just part of who I am. 
But his mom complained to the manager and said I scared them, so there went my job. Oh well. More time for surfing, I think. Or, uh, not thinking. You said maybe I could join you in the dungeon sometime, right? Oh, definitely. He nods and sips his beer, looking out over the ocean. I have to wonder about our friendship, though, in the long term. Hello? Oh, Skunky, you came in at a great time. Welcome, Raiders, welcome! Look at this giant slice of beef! Oh my god. What's that smell? It's a Skunky Raid! How you doing? What were you playing? But I wish I really didn't have to do violence to anything or anyone. It's like, why is it only doctors who swear to do no harm? Why isn't that everyone? Jesse said you've been dating some weapon folk, but you seem so soft and vulnerable. Hmm. How can you trust them? I mean, us weapon people. We're made to hurt things. I follow my heart. His lips quirk up self-consciously. I guess weapons have a certain raw sex appeal, but... I totally understand if you eventually decide we can't be like besties. We can just work together. To be honest, I wish we lived in a world where I never had to be an axe at all. I get huh? it. You do? Huh. I didn't think someone who went to the dunge would uh, so often would understand. But uh, I guess it's nice to have some more options for making cash, even if they're violent ones. Jonah empties his bottle and stretches, looking out over the water. Well, I'm gonna go back in there. Let me know if I can help chop stuff. See ya. He waves and turns, trekking his surfboard back into the waves. You head home. Oh, I'm taking him to the dungeon. Oh, God. Oh, Mom. Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to pry, but is it? Uh, is it, uh, serious? I don't know yet. I have a lot of attractive friends, Mom. Okay, okay, no pressure. I'm just happy for you. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. Which I guess is a saying about marriage. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. Oh, God, Mom, come on. Hey, you know, I feel bad I was uh, so negative when we talked. I hope I didn't bring you down. You didn't. Oh, good. I'm glad. Still gonna show you my brighter side, though. In and out of the dunge. Ha, huh, okay. Yeah. All right. Time to hit the dunge. I need to give Axe Boy a try. Yes, Jonah. Look at him. Look at him. We're gonna go to... We're gonna do one through four with Jonah. I want to test him out. I want to see how he does. The fear of change. Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. Oh god, they're all pun... They all tell puns. Okay, okay.
next level, Jonah. Let's go. We'll get you some money, honey. Feels good. It does. Jonah. All right. Was there anything else over here? He is a lot thicker than my other weapons, though. Okay, so it is like an explosion or something. Nice. You got this, buddy. We got this. Ooh, a cap recipe. Tired. All right. You want some ice cream? You want some ice cream, Jonah? Ice cream. Score. Great idea, confetti. It's been like years since I had strawberry ice cream. It's almost nostalgic now. He grabs two strawberry cones and passes one you one. Uh... So how's your summer in VB going so far? Is it what you expected? There are so many nice people. Uh, oh god, I, I missed it. Uh, of course, there are jerks everywhere, but I do think there's the chill vibe that attracts mostly cool folks. Like you, I'm glad you're here, even if it's just for now. Would you like to offer a gift? What does Jonah like? Uh, what do I even have? I have a teddy bear, I know that. Who likes the teddy bear? That person likes the teddy bear. That person... Likes the teddy bear. Um, I don't think I have anything of his. Shoot. You decide not to offer a gift right now. Let's make each moment last while we have them together. You lick the last bit of ice cream from the stick and then Jonah slides comfortably into your hands. Oh, it's living. Killing monsters for my own therapy. It is a living. Okay. I should really look into crafting zines. I haven't done that at all. Everything in the other store is so expensive, so we'll just not go there.
Where am I going? There I'm going. Three whole pennies in that trash can. There sure is a bunch of ice. Hmm. Huh? Wait, why are you looking at me? You want me to ice skate? Sure, I'll help you. I mean, I broke my leg ice skating as a teen, trying to impress a cute boy, but maybe I could try again? If I really, if I went really, really, really slowly and you didn't laugh. No pressure. Thanks, I appreciate it. If it's all the same to you, I'll play it safe. When you're as big as I am, falling can really hurt. Then let's get back to it. Seems weird that I can only craft one of each item. I wonder if I can sell the extra supplies I get. Now where's that boss monster? Oh, around. Oh, he's maxed. Okay, cool beans. We're gonna change then. Not Cinder. Isaac, that's who I want. You and me, buddy, let's do this. my random fluids off the floor. Oh, yes, I should be able to offer him a gift. Let me just get all the money off the floor. Isaac catches the eyes of the massage chairs, mm. considering. However, I took a course in massage therapy. Uh, your hands uh. be gentle. Yes. Excellent, yes. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You feel Isaac work the stress and tension out of your limbs, back, and neck. When he's finished, you feel a deep lethargy, but renewed flexibility, too. Mm -hmm. There we are. Thanks. Right. You're most welcome. It was a pleasure to use an old skill. Now let's get back to the dungeon, shall we? Oh, I didn't get to gift him anything? Shit, I thought I would. Fried mackerel? Oh shit, Naomi, they've got cooking. Wait, that means I have to get a fish somehow. Okay, point where you want to go, point where you want to kill. There we go. used to the controls. I have not played a lot of games like this before. Raspberry liqueur. Interesting. <laughs> Just brewing all kinds of shit in my bathroom. Let's go.
Oh, no, get back in there. The chemistry zine, okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, let's have ice cream. Uh, apricot gelato. I'm gonna have the same as you. Oh, we have similar tastes, or perhaps you're flattering me. This reminds me of Rome. The sun on the piazza, a taste of apricot. Have you ever been to Italy? They have fantastic fencers in Rome. Top notch. Perhaps we can go to a match sometime. I didn't get to give him a gift! Shit! Do I have to, like, take him somewhere new in order to give him a gift? Is that what it is? Ooh. Anime t-shirt recipe? Oh, God. What if it's, like, an Ahago shirt? <laughs> no, anything but that. Pepperoni pizza! Oh, my girl is gonna love that. Valeria, I got you! If no one's got my girl, I know I do. Get the big one, get the big one, get the big one. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Yep, there we go. Well, that could have gone much worse. I agree, we could be dead. Oh, the door's that way. Nearly a hundred dollars! What am I gonna do with a hundred whole smackaroos? Oh, he's nearly at the next level. I should look up the soundtrack for this. This is great. God, get out of here. Enough of that bullshit. Gourmet cupcake recipe. <gasps> yes, okay, I don't think I've ever taken him here before. Isaac watches the water gently hmm. falling. Sometimes I wonder if the monsters came because of the beauty here. Even among the crass commercializi commercialism, there's something lovely and ephemeral about a fountain. <laughs> to me, this is true spirituality. Enjoying a moment of light and water. I completely what? understand. I'm glad. I always wanted to share a quiet moment with someone. Like you, I suppose. Aww, you spend a moment together in silent contemplation. Eventually, you feel the moment pass and return to the dunge rested. No! I didn't get to give him a gift! Curses! down. No, oh, I guess this was all there was. Let me 
me check the group chat. Alright. Okay, nope, they're still good. Uh, he's maxed out. Who should I... Uh, I guess Sunder, maybe? Don't fail me now. to a party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicker. Slicker? Oh my god, really? <laughs> oh no. Yes, I will happily attend the party with you. He was just hissing in pain. Looks like a cozy spot. It does. Sunder eyes the statue up and down and then folds his arms. Uh. Ugh. There have been millions of people in history that fought, loved, and died. And this sculptor chose to make something cute? <sighs> Whatever, I guess. Everyone gets their kicks somewhere. What about yours? Me? You could probably guess. Mm. I like dancing, and necks, and wrists, and inner thighs, and yeah, obviously, seems like being your weapon is my main kink. Shut the fuck up, you himbo! <laughs> Let's get back to it, then. Oh my god! I got it. I got it. I'm fine. Biker helmet re- oh, bike helmet recipe. Hmm, hmm, that's ours now. a moment but I got it. Let me pull up the map real quick. There's a whole section over there I haven't looked at. Oh my god. Damn this is a big level. Challenge room, we got this. Oh, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, we got this, we got this. A hundred and four dollars, baby. to make rent. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about that. Jonah, however, will be able to make rent, possibly. Alright. Let's get 
get to it. Cultist what now? Chocolate truffle recipe. Could have just looked that up online, but I had to come into a mall and get it. Take a second to catch our breath. Sure. Uh -huh. Sure, I'll skate for a bit. Want to race? I warn you, I'm not that bad. Sure, let's race. That's what I'm talking about. Two laps, all right? Ready, set, go! You both set off carving up the ice. You skate as hard as you can, but in the middle you fumble and nearly trip. Sunder beats you to the finish line. Whew, that was close. You're pretty good. <laughs> now my blood's pumping. I love it. Sunder smiles. Would you like to offer a gift? No. You decide not to give a gift right now. We're all warmed up for more monster fighting. Jesse said he's... Hold on. Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me why, though. Are you okay, sweetie? I need advice. What's wrong? What's with the boyfriend, I mean? How do you know it's love? It's different for different people. Are you happier when the person is with you? Do they help make you into a better person? If so, maybe keep them around. If not, move on. Good luck out there, sweetie. Thanks. Okay, I have no idea who she's talking about. Maybe Sunder? A company I invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicker, the dating app for weapons. Am I invited? Of course, I hope you can attend. It'll be at the Verona Hotel Ballroom. See you there. Uh, absolutely you'll see me there in that cute little red outfit of mine. Oh, there's a vault. Ooh, a leather jacket. And a pretty ribbon recipe. Another triumph for the sexiest duo around. Hopefully this levels him up. Yes, it did. Okay. The Verona Mall Deeps. Oh, awesome. And we hit the ninth floor. And that's either a saber or a dildo. Do you want to leave? Yes. You breathe a little easier as the doors close behind you. We made it! Alright, we're 
right, where are we? Wielder level 12. 13. 14. 15. Come on, can we make it to 16? No, we cannot. All right, that's fair. Just ripped my body up there. It's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor party. You realize you aren't sure what to wear. Um, nothing I own is good enough. Something serious, something sparkly. You dress with precision, precision, every garment in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you put on the first... Finally, you put the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight, are you on the list? Well, hello. She's with Brooks Associates. Confetti knows everyone, huh? I thought for a second the guard was, like, romantically interested in us. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Confetti the Clown, hmm. She knows everyone. Isaac kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. All this is for you? Me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was for his favorite charity. Where is he? Fuck me! Eric, leave! How did you get in here? A familiar face approaches with a smirk. Mm -hmm. So I see Slicker invited true VIPs. Confetti, is this weapon your date? He's more than just a mm -hmm. weapon. He sure is. Deep pockets too. A fine catch of a sword. Mm -hmm. I'm standing right here. Beat his ass, Isaac. You sure are. Good job for you. Everyone loves a sharp dressed man, hmm? Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. How does that ass know you anyway? He owns a oh. weapon shop. Oh my, so there's more to this story. Isaac. Isaac, what is this hellscape? The whiskeys all have multiple malts. Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civil conversation? <laughs> This is most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. <laughs> ah. You told me Dr. Muffin the Third would be here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Uh, well, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school. What if I'm seen? Someone taps a microphone and the music turns off. The slicker executive takes the stage and starts talking about the profit of sword smooching. Vincent marches out the door. The slicker executive starts listing all the hardships they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name and a special thank you for his generosity. You notice Isaac smiling to himself as the speech ends. Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well... I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also reduce inheritance. Where did my father go? He left. Of course he did. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistants are talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Vincent and Isaac's ass Isaac assistant is talking. And that's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious. Father. Oh, hi, uh, Isaac. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. Ah, oh, my worthless son. Are you done with your farce? I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing over how much money others have... Oh, I'm sorry. Instead of obsessing over how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner. Unless... Don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Ooh! Damn! I tried! 
Vincent gestures in your general direction without looking at you. I'm the disaster? Leave confetti out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these boars isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool out of yourself. <sighs> Vincent gets in the town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Are you okay? Yes. I'm alright. I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing with him is ever simple. Come on, let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. Aww. He offers you his elbow with a small bow. Yes! Alize, hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. Fuck yeah! And perhaps a small gift for the lady. Oh, he gave me a blue flower. I bought you a little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I'd like you to have it. I love it. Wonderful. Now let's see what kind of music that DJ has started to play. Hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. All right, what time is it? All right, once we're ready, I'm letting, I'm contacting Uni. We are ready. I will raid your channel. But um bum Why do I have so many other messages? Good ward. All right, uh, let me look at crafting. Oh, let me look at zines. What do you mean I don't want you to die? What? 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 Hold on. Uh, I've been thinking about a lot and I've decided for sure I don't want you to die. What a- thank you? Not planning on it? Ah uh, yeah, so wanna hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. Okay? It's going good. Thank you, Eldritch. How are you doing? Meet you at the beach at nine. Okay. I have so many questions, Sunder. What are you doing? <gasps> Congrats! Thanks. Jonah, I hope you get to keep it. A steady income is going to be nice. Meet me at Bravura and I'll treat you to dinner. Sure. Thanks for coming. I had a great time last night. Me too. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. All right. Let's see about crafting. Oh my God, I picked up a lot of recipes. We got a ball cap. We got a fried mackerel. Somehow I made that out of wire. We got a pepperoni pizza. A cultist meter recipe? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, it's a hat. Okay. Okay. We got an anime t-shirt. It's got Hatsune Miku on it. Chocolate truffles. The bike helmet recipe. We got a cupcake. I made raspberry liquor out of sugar and glass. A chemistry zine. I'm gonna have to look at that. All right. Got all of this. Okay, what? Throws a mind trap. Okay, let's keep that for now. Appreciate you, Uni. Uh, because of life of stabbing has made him a pessimist. Uh, let's see here. Okay. 
Ba -ba 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 All right, I'm gonna meet my buddy at the beach. Wait, no. No, I don't want to meet my buddy. No, I do want to. I do want to go to the beach. I want to. Ah, let me in. Let me in. I need. Hello, ma'am. I need one of your cutest lighthouse keychains, please. I have a big man that I need to gift. All right, where exactly is this place? I have a date somewhere, but I don't know where. <gasps> there it is. Hey, Jonah! You find Jonah sitting alone at a table fidgeting with his napkin. Hi. Oh, hey, Confetti. Glad you can make it. This place is too fancy to be alone in. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, it's nothing, really. But you're welcome, of course. <laughs> I can afford it tonight because this is where I work. I'm Brevara's newest employee. You a waiter? Uh... Nah, I'm too clumsy for that. Wish I got the tips, though. I'm the newest sous chef. Sous means something in French. I should look that up. Oh, what the fuck are you doing here, you piece of shit? God damn it. It means under because you're working under a real chef, obviously. Oh, uh, thanks. Hi, Eric. You here for dinner, too? No, I just hang out in restaurants in the evening, inspecting their cutlery. Yes, of course I'm here for dinner. It's a shame I don't have a date like confetti to share it with. It's not too late to switch tables, mon chéri. I have a free seat. No, it was a joke anyway. Enjoy your meal. I recommend the tartare. Do you want to join us? I'm sh Jonah, come on, man. And b what, be the third wheel to a jellyfish? No, thank you, Jonah. I have an image to uphold. Eric swan swans deeper into the restaurant without looking back. Ah, uh, Eric, you were so much cooler back in the day. Anyway, yeah, sous chef. I prepare the ingredients for cooking. Lots of chopping and slicing and dicing. Nice. God, what a man. Ooh. Crashing wave or salt in the wound. Hmm. That one. We'll go with that one for now. And a second sous chef wields me. It's sort of refreshing using my weapon side for something productive. When I was a teen, my mom would chop firewood sometimes. Uh, my mom and I would chop firewood sometimes, but it was mostly just for fun. Honestly, nobody needs firewood in Verona Beach, but they do need chopped food. Congrats! <laughs> Thanks. My blade is a bit unconventional, but I'm getting the job done. I just wish the head chef would lighten up a little. She gets really stressed out, like, way too much. She even insults people in the kitchen sometimes, throws things at them. Not my vibe. Anyway, what's going on with you? Any news on the dunge front lines? Your meal arrives and you chat while you eat. The pasta is homemade and the sauce is rich. You can barely manage to finish your plate. Mm. Want to share a dark chocolate cake or, hmm, how do I pronounce that? Sure. Jonah smiles and orders one cake with two forks. You savor the bittersweet chocolate together and it's fluffy yet crunchy ganache laden textures. That was perfect. I mean, I don't know if it was actually worth 10 times my own cooking, but it was an experience. With the employee discount, it only costs nine times my cooking anyway. Cha-ching! Huh. I guess I still have to go to the dunge sometimes. If I can... If I want to afford board wax. May I walk you home? It's good to walk after such a rich meal. I like that. Cool. You wander homeward companionably, enjoying the crickets and the evening breeze. Outside your apartment, he hesitates, suddenly tense. I... No, Jesse mentioned we dated ages ago. Sorry, it was only for like a week. Sorry. I wish I hadn't. If it makes you feel weird, you're super different from him. I uh like you a lot, and and I guess you should know that. You want to come in? Are you asking me what I think you're asking? Uh, thank you, but not tonight. I have an early morning, but how about a kiss goodnight instead? He takes a small step closer to you. You catch the scent of the sea and a lightly, wild and lightly spiced. Yeah, kiss him. Smooch him. 
You're wrapped in him, his chest a solid wall of warmth, a hint of dark chocolate left on his tongue. Woo! Wow, yeah, all right. That's really something. Night, sweetness. See ya. Da I didn't even get to give him his lighthouse keychain. Damn, he wanders off a silly smile on his face. You go upstairs and fall into bed. Eat shit, Eric. What do you gotta say? Uh huh. The kid. Uh huh. But kicking myself for not coming in, but to be honest, I was so nervous about the new job. Can I come up next time, please? Of course. Yes. Thanks for celebrating with me. Gotta practice my chopping and dicing, so see you in the dunge. Um, ba 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 ba. Aww, I have a cute little flower. I am the sacrifice on the altar of fashion. <laughs> My anime shirt. Uh, what do my gifts look like? I got a rose, chocolates, gold chain, mackerel, pepperoni pizza, raspberry liqueur. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, fuck, I forgot about my boy. I left him on the beach. I think we can get through this date. Hey. You find Sunder and Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! Are we uh -huh. celebrating? Yeah, being alive is the best, right? Uh... I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead, statistically. That's a lot of people. Really a lot. Are you a vampire? I'm sorry, but we never, like, established what was up with him and the red eyes and the fangs. Like, what was going on with that? Is it just him partially turning into a sword? Or is he actually a vampire? <laughs> I mean, he has bleed ability. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of people. Really, a lot of people. Sometimes I try and calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be a million ghosts. Can weapon people also be vampires? I don't know. I have no idea. But wouldn't that be funny, though, if, like, his whole blasé attitude towards everything is because he's, like, this super ancient vampire? He just doesn't give a shit anymore. <laughs> All kinds of ghosts, sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmer, everyone. <sighs> Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Nah. No, I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Why all the death stuff? Why not? It's all around us. That's what being alive means, right? Dying? What about books and mountains? They're not alive, but they're way better than people. What about you, Confetti? Do you think about death often? You spend time chatting, looking out over the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there is a silence and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Are they vampires? Are they? Mandy looks at you curry- What kind of food? Oh my god, they're vampires! They're fucking vampires! I'm gonna lose my shit! <laughs> I like my food fresh and locally sourced. Verona Beach has a few options. Hey. Cut it out, Mandy. What? You haven't told poor Confetti about our little hobby? What hobby? Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself. Just don't stay- Oh my god, they're vampires! The sun comes up fast in the summer. Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Hmm. Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. What was that about? I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean, chilling against your skin. Shiver. You poor thing. He rubs your goosebumpy arms. 
Sunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction help- Oh my god, he's a fucking vampire. <laughs> Helps relax you a little. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. We got cool shades. <laughs> Somehow. Here, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Mm. Thanks. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It's not like we're in a relationship anyway, right? Just friends, so... It looks like he started to shiver. Let's just f f forget about this and I will walk you home where it's warm. You walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. You give him his jacket back and he puts it on gratefully. <laughs> Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now I get the summertime blues, but with you I feel so alive. Nice. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. Uh... I know you said you weren't interested in me in that way, but I kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come up? And do what? We can watch some net TV or talk <laughs> on the bed? Mm -hmm. So what's your final answer? Should we have a good time tonight or no? Yeah, but we're only watching TV. Can I get a few kisses here? No. You will watch TV and there will be no chilling. He waits outside the apartment politely. Oh, he's a fucking vampire until you invite him in. Wow, I like your place. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I said we're watching Netflix. You spend the evening together. He is athletic and attentive, singularly focusing. Okay, wow. Well. You notice his skin and blade remain strangely cold to the touch, no matter how long you cuddle. Want another blanket? Sure, why not? No harm in being extra cozy. You snuggle up and kiss a few extra dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. Can't wait till next time, but got some things to do later tonight. Later, hotness. Man, I am just fucking my way through the USA. <laughs> or I guess Verona Beach in this case. How many people is that now? Jonah? Vera- uh, I nearly said Versace. <laughs> the Dagger Girl. And Sunder? Isaac's the one that I actually kind of really like. Him and Jonah. And I haven't slept with Isaac at all. God. He lets himself out and you soon fall asleep. Oh my god. Alright, what do you have to say to me? I just wanted to say, you're cooler the more I get to know you, so thanks. You too. Let's dunge! My phone perpetually on 80%. What did I get? Sunglasses! Oh, I'm the fucking coolest. Enemies bleed when they damage you. Oh my god. I didn't realize that these actually had benefits. Enemies get stunned when they damage you. Carry more beverages. The exit shows in the mini-map. Money is pulled from further away. Beverages heal more. Doubles all damage. Money is pulled from further away. Money is pulled from further away. That's so cool. What do my clothes do? Oh, they don't do anything. All right, let me see really quick what the others are up to. Because I know we're due to be starting soon. Oh, okay, uni's starting now. So that's where we're going to call it, and I'm going to send you guys on to uni. Thank you all so much for coming by. It was lovely to hang out with you. I cannot wait to play more of this. Oh, my God. Until next time, you will have an absolutely wonderful night. Take care. Bye-bye.